Uh, we like. Uh, we like. Seems good. Uh, we like. All right. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, I have been doing a couple of things off stream. Just the kind of thing uh, that takes some time that you might want to do listening to a podcast or something. We've cleared out quite a few of the biters. I guess about a quarter of what's left on the planet. Um, that also goes for uh, the biters on Rose. However... Uh, that's mostly been the work of our uh, weapon delivery cannons. I added the 14th one here, if, if for nothing other than symmetry. But actually, it's, uh, it's bottlenecked on two things, mainly heavy girders, and if we had more iridium coming in, uh, it would be bottled on, it would still be bottlenecked on power, I believe, because, well, if I didn't power manage it like this, it would still be bottlenecked on power, but the consequences would be worse. But basically, we don't put uh, weapon delivery capsules in to allow this recipe to finish unless and until... The accumulator is fully charged. Um, and if you look at the uh, power consumption... Uh, I guess it's a bit less clear on the graph, but... Um, watch the accumulator charge after they all fire and... If they all fire at once anyway, they're doing that thing at the moment where they catch up after not having enough uh, girders. But at least until I started laying out more solar up here, um, and we're using the flat solar panels here now, uh, when these things fired, it would actually eat up like half of the accumulator charge. So there's that. Although, I'm not entirely understanding why... Okay, it is dropping more than I thought. Uh, because it does take a little while to recharge these things. But we seem to have well and truly gotten past... Well, it's still bottlenecking on the power. At least while the girders are here. But I think with what we've got for now, it would be pretty hard to keep up with Iridium. Uh, but yeah, I learned a couple of things just observing this. It will actually shoot at biters that are just standing around uh, with no stationary structures. Oh, I say structures, I mean... I guess you could call them structures? If, can you? If they're made of flesh? I don't know. Uh, the worms and spawners, um, they'll also actually shoot the biters directly. But it, uh, it was a bit of a surprise when I, I, I thought I would have to do a lot more directly with the spiders, um, to clear this place out. But I was quite surprised when I checked this planet a while ago and just noticed, oh, uh, most of the area out to here is just completely devoid of biters now, and I definitely haven't been using the uh, military spiders that much. They've only got lasers on this planet. Um, but yeah. Uh, it may take a while, but we will eventually clear this planet, even if I don't lift a finger to do it directly, as long as we keep all those resources flowing. Of course, it's not the most efficient use of one of those mass drivers to finish off one behemoth biter. Uh, so, 
little bit more time and cost effective if we get some of these spiders to laser a few things. They can roll over the small uh, biter nests very easily, but once there's a critical mass of worms, it gets a bit more complicated. So, let's head over here, shall we? And... Just pick out as many... The uh, mass drivers actually have a significant area to them when they land as well, so... Picking off these little solitary spawners and worms and stuff and the biters that are milling about with the lasers is a uh, pretty big impact uh, in terms of that sort of efficiency. Um, let's get them to go back after that, in case I forget about them. And what else do we have going on? Um, all of our resources, last I checked, are doing basically okay, except for crude oil. Uh, we've actually got like six trainloads of iron ore in this station at the moment. Um, I did briefly see that we were destroying certain resources again, but it's not that much for now uh, to keep the core mining flowing. Why is iron here? What? Oh, it came from solids pickup. That makes sense. Wait, except... I think it's because there's a train limit on of one on the iron ore drop-off. Yeah, I would rather have them queue up than, uh, where did it go? Nope. Uh, just take it back to the depot, we'll sort that out. Um, I would rather have a few trains queuing up at the iron ore storage than to waste any before it's full. It is only going to take the iron from... Uh, the core mining, not from our temporary uh, higher throughput iron mines, so there's no worry about wasting that. Um, also been deconstructing some of these old blocks. I made some, I made a squad of spiders specifically for deconstructing things. In fact, let's give them a bit more capacity, shall we? I've also been, bit by bit, starting to dismantle uh, this old base, but obviously with certain things dependent on it, it's a bit hard to give it up cold turkey. Um, do I have this automated down here? Let's see. Yes. So, we don't need this. Stuff that overall doesn't get crafted very much, um, we can definitely leave to the auto-crafter. Uh, let's see, a few more spiders, and uh, I had these two here because I was trying to set up some construction spiders to take to, I think, moors? They're purple spiders for the moment because I want them mostly empty so I can pick them up. Um, let's say five. And... I know I've got more spiders. Do I not... Oh, there's no actual request here. 
for the spiders. Uh, let's go... 48. Fantastic. On the way, 35. Uh, I also need to be carrying more... Oh, I think I dismantled the robo... Uh, the power armor stuff over here. And I haven't necessarily done what I should have done in terms of getting that into the auto crafting system just yet. So let's do that now. We're going to need a few portable RTGs, uh, personal batteries if only for a prerequisite for the Mark II's. Um, jetpack. Uh, I've also been thinking about how I could do some latch behavior so that the re uh, so that the recipes for these things don't change so quickly. A hey, dark sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you hear what happened in Ukraine? Yeah, a little bit. Unfortunate. Um, we can't make Jetpack Mark IV yet. Let's not worry about that. Uh, what else we got here? Adaptive armor. Tier 4. I'm good. Good to hear. And... Apparently we don't have green circuits. Well, we definitely have green circuits, but do we have it... We have 10? Oh, we've got... Okay, we do have a lot of green circuits, so why is it not? Logistics storage 9600, satisfaction 0 out of 25, on the way 0. Huh? And we have about 3700 logistic bots available right now. And it is in the same robo network. This is a buffer chest. Wait, did I ch check the box that says. Oh, this is a buffer chest. Oh, that's the problem. They won't transfer from buffer chest to buffer chest unless you like. Maybe if you bump down the requests on one of them. Yeah, I was uh, messing around with this design a bit, seeing it, tweaking it, basically. That particular tweak was a bit harebrained. Well, that means all of a sudden we've got a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff we're trying to craft here. will be interesting what'll happen later today. Yeah, interesting times. Hey, Shat Cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... How many pipes are we trying to make here? Oh, these need to be stack inserters. Can I just upgrade all of them? Yeah. Okay. Well, 
I thought uh, this whole system would be basically up to date with everything it was trying to craft, but uh, that's not the way things are happening here right now. Maybe it'll just take a minute to catch up, and maybe... Maybe I should throw down a few buildings, at least temporarily, to directly make the power on the stuff. Um, yeah, I really shouldn't have dismantled that until I was sure we were ready. So what are we missing here? These guys are all... These guys are actually all fully equipped. What about these ones? And wait, why are you still... Oh, it's just the roboports haven't recharged yet. Your inventory space is actually fine. Okay, good. I should think so, because I spent a good little while setting all the logistic requests, save like two or three, uh, for these purple spiders to be set to zero, so that they wouldn't have anything left over in their inventory. What are we missing here? Four personal roboports. Oh, because we're trying to put in eight. That's a bit rich. The bots are way faster from last time I watched? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they're as fast as we can get with uh, Tier 1 Space Sciences. Which is a bit of an improvement. Uh, our UPS is also a bit better because... Well, I can speculate. Um, for one thing, I've been taking the time to remove some biters. Uh, speaking of which, I should definitely... If our two squads of Spidertrons here are fully rearmed and repaired, I should definitely send them out again. Um, it does take a good few clicks to... make sure they're going to do their thing relatively safely. But to some extent we can sort of fire and forget here. Make sure you make them zigzag, give them some time for their shields to recharge. Don't throw them into the very middle, right from the start. And if you're going to leave them parked somewhere, make sure they clear out the area around them first. As for this one... Alright, we'll check on them in a few minutes or so. That reminds me, the Spidertrons here uh, seem to be... Wait, where are they? Oh, they're all the way over here. I didn't realize I queued up so much. Uh, this guy, the, the one at the front, has taken more damage than I would have expected. Um, I'm only pointing him at really small bases, but then there might be some expansions that popped up in front of him. Better check on them in a few minutes again. I don't really want to stop them going on the path they're on, but it's a risk if I don't check on them soon. That's a lot of Spidertrons, I love it. Yeah. I I seriously considered adding even more squads, but considering I need a physical remote to have each one of them, like, hotbarred, um, 
I, I just don't want to be carrying that many. But yeah, we've got a, kind of a ludicrous amount of spiders. We have functionally infinite spiders. It's just a matter of how quickly we can replace them. So this lot I'm going to take to Moors. We're going to um, clean up some of the old junk that we left lying around and build a nice, simple uh, core mining setup that receives and sends via delivery cannon. And the reason we're going back to Moors, uh, apart from I don't love leaving this uh, first attempt at uh, setting up an outpost uh, in such a mess. Oh, is that Iridi? That's Iridite as well. Nice. I completely forgot that was there. We could definitely take advantage of some of that. Uh, which reminds me, I also did a couple of things to help with the throughput of Erudite specifically, but also less directly uh, Erudite core fragments. Uh, I really should move some of these cannons further up here for the core fragments, because now that we've got nine... It's actually nine, even though that thing's bugging out. Uh, this is actually slightly more than half a belt of core fragments, so it is getting blocked a little bit. But in any case, we're not doing uh, iridite core fragment mining except for when the accumulators are full, which is not the case right now. And I think we're getting, uh, until this mine runs dry, we're getting significantly more uh, iridite out of mining it directly. Which should come as no surprise. But yeah, that is primarily supporting our girders here. And as much as... Uh, Turning this array of cannons on Nalvis is not going to have much of a... It's, it's not going to have that much of an effect compared to the rate of uh, Bider expansion. It's definitely not going to hurt. It, it's going to help uh, clearing this whole place out. And it also ties up any loose ends that we happen to... If there's like one little spawner over here that we somehow missed, it's eventually going to be 20, 50, 100. Obviously having something to automatically remove them is going to be uh, very useful in avoiding that. I also redesigned our military spiders a little bit. There's one of them that doesn't carry a laser, it's got a roboport instead. The rest of them carry five shields and just one laser. So the laser is absolutely just a backup. So we're pretty much going as tanky as we can uh, with these spiders. A hey, whiskers? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now then. Oh, excuse me. I don't know how much uh, taking a little break helped with the throat thing. What should we be doing in the meantime? I want more power armor things. Uh, I see a couple of slots up here, which would mean that we've finished those, but somehow I suspect that's not the case. We're doing 
uh, RTGs down here. Oh, that's right. I didn't, like, unify these yet. They're on two separate circuits. Part 100 continued, or just haven't updated the... Oh, I thought I had. Uh, does this do it? Let's check. Yeah, I think I forgot to press just the done button yeah, I think after. I forgot to Whoops. press. There we go, 101. Fantastic. There it is. Thank you. So now we're doing jetpacks and things. These ones haven't changed, probably because. Actually, I don't know why this one hasn't changed. Uh, speaking of all-in-one walls, uh, I also took a first crack at building what I'm hoping will be a single rail block that's effectively going to replace all of this, or at least replace it in terms of being like my own personal base. So this will be where I go back for resupply. Uh, where I send the spiders back to, and so on. Uh, we've got a rocket that we're going to launch manually at different places. Uh, the rockets that we've got up here that are on auto-launch, we're going to move those into the rail network. We've got a ludicrous amount of stuff in storage over here that I want. Um, I kind of want to make it all available to the rail network and we're not going to drop anything off here anymore at some point and hopefully like 99% of all that is just going to drain out um so i think we'll basically kind of like the opposite of what we've got here where we've got um roboport telling ltn what's available um and uh, when the train arrives, we set the requests and we can put anything from the robo network into a train. Good timing, there's a train coming here right now. Uh, I said the opposite of this, but that's completely wrong. I, I basically want to do this, but for the four cargo wagon trains as well. Um, and so we're going to gradually just automatically drain this old robo network of all of the stuff that we've accumulated here. Um, and then, and then I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like making the armor is working. Uh, wait, what jetpacks? Oh, we can make tier 3 jetpacks. I've been able to upgrade my jetpacks for a while, and I just forgot. Nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's change this request right here. Um, jetpack. Unfortunately, because our logistic requests only show the tech that we've already got, I didn't leave room to put this exactly where it should be, but uh, let's change this and this. And our jetpacking is about to get 50% faster. Nice. Off Rook. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see you used the train logistics mod and wanted to ask if it is really worth it. Uh, in my opinion, yes, absolutely. And I say that with the caveat of there absolutely is a learning curve and things that I would describe as newbie traps. Uh, I very strongly recommend 
going to the mod settings for LTN. And uh, don't take my word for it, but there's a few settings in here. Read them all carefully. Um, there's a few settings in here that the defaults will absolutely... Uh, unless you set things up a certain way... Well, no, I think they're almost guaranteed to cause you some problems and you're going to be unaware of why they're happening and um, like they're absolutely not going to be your fault as like a newbie unless you take the time to read them all. Thank you. No worries. Um, I also strongly recommend, uh, as much as I hate to say it, or I, I hate that it has to be done this way. Um, when it comes to the drop-off stations, you can fit 7.2 trainloads of stuff in 24 steel chests, for example. Um, don't ask for like seven or even six trainloads of stuff to be delivered here. Uh, I, I don't know why, but even with even with all of the provide and request thresholds, as in how much stuff has to be asked for before the train will deliver it, uh, even with all of that taken into account and everything, um, and making sure there's a train limit of one, and getting rid of a setting that makes LTN forget that a train exists if it's taken more than, like, I think it's 10 minutes by default, uh, something, something, timeout. Stop timeout? No. Delivery timeout. Duration in seconds where deliveries, uh, deliveries can take before it's assumed that the train was lost. Uh, that in particular will, if you have some traffic jams and stuff, it'll cause LTN to send multiple trains to a stop when it should only send one. But even when you've accounted for all of those things, um... Maybe it's just some minor mistakes on my part, but it seems like you still get trains trying to overfill stations sometimes, unless you leave, you know, a good, f I don't know, two or three train loads of slack. But all of that said, um, it's really minor compared to... Uh, how much I appreciate that what I can do with LTN that just isn't possible. No matter how good you are with circuits, there are things that you can't really do with uh, vanilla trains that, frankly, I think should be functionality that you should be able to, to create. Like, um, uh, I particularly like that you don't have to have specific trains. Like, it, instead of this being iron ore, this being iron plate, this being copper ore, and so on, you know, I don't have to go... I don't have to realize, oh, we need more iron plate trains specifically. It's just a question of, do we have enough long cargo wagon trains, short cargo wagon trains, fluid trains, and so on. And there's also things that you can do with LTN. Uh, well, I did say that already, but more specifically, uh, some of the things that you can do with LTN that you absolutely can't with uh, vanilla. Uh, this is both an iron ore and an iron plate drop-off. Uh, no path. Where are you trying to go? We're missing some signals, I think. Right about here. Where was that? Uh, let me just grab some... They're all the way up here. And I think we've run out of flat solar panels. Alright, in that case, I'll go do that myself. Not before I put in some of these lovely new jetpacks. Um... Uh, 
as my spider. Alright, before I lose track of where that was, no path to... it's the same location, and you're trying to go here. Signal stops working here. Okay. Let's head over there now. Um, I think it'll start working once I remove some of these incorrect signals. Um, it's probably these ones on the outside. They were there when there was a roundabout earlier. Once you mark those for deconstruction, those trains are probably in motion now. There we go. Uh, yep. Sorry for getting sidetracked there, but... Oh yeah, things that you can do with LTN that you can't with a regular... With a vanilla stop. Uh, so we can have multiple different resources dropped off and or picked up at the same station. Although you've got to be extremely careful with circuitry that if it's going to be a pickup station uh, with multiple resources, you need to make sure these inserters don't stick out at the end. Um, that can cause some problems. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is an omni smelter block right here. It does uh, smelting for five different resources use. Wow, everything's full. We've stopped smelting. That's fantastic. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six inputs and five output long train stations in this space. Which I think is just incredible, actually. <laughs> That is a total of four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different train stations here, functionally. Um, yeah, love it. Trying to remember who it was. Uh, who created an extensive list of blueprints making it possible to use vanilla train LTN style? Lots of circuits. King Elite. Yeah, I've been meaning to look at that, but I um, haven't got around to it. Also, obviously it's preferable not to have to use 6 million combinators to achieve the same thing. Although, if they really did pull that off with vanilla circuits, I'm extremely impressed. I don't understand how... How would you have, like, effectively dynamic scheduling? You can't even tell a train to, like, skip a station with vanilla. Well, not for me to worry about right now. Let's go back and get the rest of our jetpacks. Let's check on our military spiders. They are ready and waiting for more. Um, we'll do an ammo check after this one, although I think it's a little bit early for that. And squad number two. Thought that was Holmanite for a second there. Okay. Little bit of a zigzag to throw off most of the spit. That is a giant base. And then, let's uh, see how they're doing after that. Right then. Uh, what else do we have going on? 
our spiders back on Rose didn't get as badly hurt as I feared. Although I am glad they're coming back for repair now. I should have checked on them sooner. If, if we had 20 dead spiders over here right now, it would be my fault. As soon as the leader dies, the rest will just stand around cluelessly. Uh, what about our... I forgot to add robo-ports to this. Um... Say twenty of those. I don't understand why this one is stuck on this and these ones are all on different recipes if I copy pasted the settings across. Usually when it's on a recipe and not changing even though we're finished with that recipe. It's because uh, the overflow chest is full, but it doesn't look, look like that's what's happening this time. Also, I don't remember asking for wooden chests. We're not asking for wooden chests. Why is it trying to make wooden chests? I even had a extra bit of circuitry here to make sure we get rid of those random inverted signals when the bots pick things up. That's really strange to me. I don't see a signal here. The, the positive signals on the green are the things that we're trying to make. I don't see any sign that we're trying to make wooden chests here. That seems... or belts for that matter. That's, uh... Yeah, there's nothing here requesting belts. How is this happening? What? Is there, like, a request for belts and that's somehow... No? I am very curious as to what is going on there. Alright, let's put in... Uh, some more of these jetpacks. Oh, I just need one more. And that's like as many as I'm aiming to carry, really. Did I bring enough aeroframe poles? Yes. What are we looking for? Green circuits. Did I hear right you've automated assembler recipes? Yes, indeed. I'll show you how right now, if you like. Um, I think the easiest place to start to show this is... I'll, I'll grab the simplest version of that blueprint that I have. Uh, and this is obviously a little bit cluttered. I'll recreate it. So, oh, this one's a bit different. Um, how about, yeah, no, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so, uh, let's work back from here. We have a assembly machine. We have a crafting combinator, which needs to be pointing in the direction of the assembly machine. Uh, we have a recipe combinator, which is also part of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The crafting combinator mod. Recursive blueprints? Uh, no, this... I don't have that mod. 
At least, not yet. Oh, uh, let's remove that for now, shall we? Okay. So, what we're doing here is... Uh, setting a recipe. And... We're also getting... Let's just put this here for now. All you need to know about this combinator for the moment is it picks just one of the recipes. Uh, we're setting a recipe. And we're also, from this one, getting the ingredients necessary for that recipe. We're going to put a request to chest here. And we're going to... Uh, set the requests for whatever's needed for uh, the recipe that we're on right now. I'm really quite curious here as to how... Oh, I, I think I understand. Yeah, it's responding to the requests. Just ignore that for now. That's just a quirk of the way the logistic network spits out signals. It sometimes spits out negatives for things that there's a very low count of and that bots are trying to pick up. I tried to add... Oh, wait. Hold on. I did add something to this to filter those out. Although, apparently, judging by the behavior up here with the wooden chests of all things, that wasn't enough. I don't know, but this would just be, each has to be, depending on the order, greater than or less than zero before it's passed through. Anyway, you can ignore that for now. The point is, uh, we somehow get what things we want to make, we pass that into our crafting combinator, um, and let's say we want to make a stone furnace. That gets passed into the crafting combinator. The default settings are to set the recipe. Um, and using the recipe combinator on default settings. Uh, don't be misled by the fact that you can't see the output signals if you point at the recipe combinator. Uh, those signals are actually there. You just can't see them for some reason directly. But if we click here, we can see that it is setting the requests uh, for stone, for this uh, stone furnace. Now then, we also want to output whatever it is we're making, into the robo-network. And this little inserter right here is just to get rid of whatever is in this chest that's not supposed to be anymore, otherwise it will eventually fill up and jam the whole thing. Uh, and the way we've set that up is just set filters to the same as what's being requested here, except we use blacklist so it won't pick up whatever's supposed to be uh, in the request to chest. Um, although in a later iteration, and I do strongly recommend this, uh, we've got lots and lots of certain high volume materials that go into most recipes just aimed at this assembly machine from the other side all the time. Oh, and I just noticed I still had that error in this particular blueprint here, or at least maybe I tweaked it like that. Let's update this, and here. And the other good thing about that is it minimizes how much we're going to massively overfill this uh, request to chest with stuff that's going to be in here. Um, I also added 
Don't worry about how this works just yet, we'll get to that, but this is basically like a blacklist for this, uh, these requester chests. So anything that we're always going to put up here, we're not going to bother putting in this little dynamic one. But for now, keeping it simple, we just have the one requester chest uh, going into this thing. So, how do we get... How do we compare what's in the robo-network to a list of stuff that we want to make? Well, uh, the way I do it here is... I might just do this the other way around. It maybe is a bit more intuitive. Um... We're going to read everything that's in the logistic network uh, to avoid that issue where it passes through negative signals. We're just going to put each greater than zero output each input count. So it's going to get rid of anything that's negative here. After that, we're going to multiply this by negative one. And we're going to have a positive number for things that we want to craft here. So we're asking this thing to make 50 steel chests. Let's uh, get rid of all of this just to simplify things. We're asking this thing to make 50 steel chests. However, uh, in this uh, anything greater than zero output anything, that just... Uh, if you have multiple inputs, it just separates them uh, for some reason, which isn't really necessary if we're just doing one assembly machine, uh, but it does come in useful when we're trying to split the signals up. Anyway, um, why is this... Oh, I didn't set the overflow chest. Uh, behind right, purple chest. So that is to get rid of anything that's in here or here when it switches recipes. That's just a setting on the crafting combinator. Okay, so we have a positive signal here saying what we want to craft. Uh, by itself, obviously, that's just going to craft steel chests until the end of time. Um, and then if we have 50 or more steel chests in the robo network, it's going to pass that through as negative 50 or negative more than 50 over to here. We're going to add those signals together. And all of a sudden, turns out we've got enough steel chests and active provider chests. So that's going to be zero uh, for those two recipes. We are still asking for one stone furnace though. There we go. Um, hey, Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we doing here? Uh, we are explaining our the simplest version of our auto crafter uh, that uses the robo network to and constant combinators to decide what to make. So, uh, clear as mud. Any questions? The uh, other versions that I've got here also use a string of uh, three combinators it takes. I, I, think, I think that's as small as you can get in order to split up uh, a series of signals down to like uh, six separate signals. Makes good sense. Now I know there's a mod for this. Yes, indeed. Okay, so it seems like we got our jetpacks. Fantastic. I'll take that. How much faster do we go now? That seems pretty good, especially considering our UPS isn't that great right now. Jetpack acceleration 406.
Okay. But, yeah, again, what I really, really don't understand is why this thing is stuck on... I should set these to... the output chest being the purple one, actually. And I think I can just copy this, like, so. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Can I just... like that? But yeah, even though I understand why we get these negative signals out of the robo-network, um, I have absolute 746 million wooden chests. 763 million wooden chests. How... There's not even... Alright, let's put a pole down here so we can see... Oh, this is going around in circles. I think. See how it's flickering? And this is saying... 746 million. Wait, it seems to have the entire robo-network as... Okay, I don't think we have 760 million or 2.1 gajillion space belt. Um, I think we've somehow made a circle here. And it's like runaway adding to itself or something. But I can't think where that would have happened. Okay, so this whole thing somehow is a memory cell. You, you can see from the flickering that some signals are going round and round in circles. But... This... Okay, this part doesn't look right. Did I just misclick here at some point? Is that all this is? I think that's it. Like, I wasn't even fully cognizant of what that wire would have done, but I could see that it was different from the others. What did I just undo? Oh, that's fine. Okay, so... I didn't actually remove anything of substance here. That's actually all working now? Still trying to make pump jacks? There's no small electric motors. Uh, that would be why. Let's... As much as I hate... Um, keeping this zombie base alive for the moment... I might have to have some small electric motors brought in. I do want to have... Oh, we need more aeroframe poles now. I know where to get them. Alright. Uh, I believe it's over... here. You've been paying attention to Sesame Street? Wait. I think I missed the... missed the joke. Sesame Street. One of these things is not like the others. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I have no idea how that wire got there, actually. Especially considering, like, this should have been a copy-paste of this. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with, uh with where these builds are now, um, what I would really like to change is 
maybe just add a timer to it or something, or something that would effectively create latch behavior, whereby maybe we just stick to a set of recipes for at least 10 or 20 seconds at a time. That way, when it's crafting lots of different things, and especially doing it rapidly, you won't get all of these machines swapping recipes, like, way too quickly, and the items that are supposed to be in these chests going all over the place. A uh, really smart thing that I would like to add is to prioritize prerequisite items. Um, the way that that's getting done right now is just the fact that we've got six things that we're trying to craft lined up at once. But I don't know how I would do a prioritization system uh, with Factorio circuitry for this. I was wondering about prerequisites. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I've got this laid out to do six, like the first six recipes that we're trying to build right now. Um, I also... I still really don't understand what... Oh, is this just not... Connected? I think this is supposed to go here. Yeah, there we go. Except now it's trying to do wooden chests again. Did I mess up again? I don't think so. I have no requests in here for iron chests, either. Um, that is supposed to go there. Oh, wrong one. I think I fixed it. Okay. So yeah, um, luckily the prerequisites tend to be in the arbitrary signal order, whereby the prerequisite comes before the thing it's a prerequisite of. At least with space exploration with these, like, miners, jetpacks, and so on. Um, but stuff like cable, stick, gear... Um, in any case, I would recommend just having dedicated machines to make some of these uh, simply because of the volume and to simplify it and everything. But if you're, if you're bent on using auto crafting for this as much as possible. Yeah, one of the reasons I have this set up to do six recipes at once is so that it does get the prerequisites built. So the modder had some idea what he was doing. Um, it's possible that the SE modder had that in mind with the order of the circuit uh, signals. Like the order this is in the build menus and stuff. It could just as easily be something as simple as wanting to keep it neat looking in the menus and stuff. Okay. Oh, I thought we ran out of aeroframe poles back there, but apparently not. It won't hurt to drop some off, though. I'm not going to make a train request for it. And we're only going to need so many before this whole place gets packed up. Let's check on our spiders. I should have done that sooner. Squad 1 is doing just fine. Squad 2 is doing just fine. I don't know if I mentioned that... Um, I also made one, no, I think I did say so, there's one spider in the group that carries a roboport for repairs. But we try to minimize how much that's necessary. Alright, let's con- oh, how much ammo do they have? 700's quite good. Fantastic. And... 
I should probably um, look for some places to build some artillery walls as well. We've got practically... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got practically half the world cut off here, uh, which is useful. Don't want... I, I think I'll clear out the biters in, like, this area before we build more walls. And after that, we'll want to seal that off. Okay. Oh, I meant to check ammo for these guys as well. It's getting a little bit low. Resupply is not very far away, thankfully. Let's do one more of these. And back to base. And group two. I can probably do a few more. One more. And go get resupplied after that. Okay. Now then. Drop this into the robo network. Uh, I would like to carry these guys for when we go back to Mars. Uh, I probably don't need that much landfill. It's fine. I'll, I'll copy-paste the construction spider settings um, when I place them down later. All right. What else are we going to need? Uh, do we have four mining drills over here? I think we probably should. Yikes, what a mess. Oh, this... Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I guess that simplifies the process of of building things when we go there. That's right, I remember thinking about this a little bit and realizing I'll probably just not aim for the landing pad, we'll just do Moore's uh, general vicinity. Um, but I will want to make sure we have some uh, core mining drills, cannons, everything we need for, uh, approximately this blueprint, basically. Except I would like to make a version of it that's a bit better for upgrading the throughput for the coal mining drill. Okay. So we will need coal mining drill. Oops. Uh, nine. I think we've already got one on Mars, don't we? Yeah, let's... I don't think that one's going anywhere. Let's just carry eight. Uh, we'll need some cannons. I think it stacks to 20. Delivery cannon chest. We'll need some transmitters and receivers. There they are. What else? Some more blue belt, perhaps. And inserters are fine. 
I don't need to be carrying the space rail right now. Uh, no, I said I don't need to be carrying the space rail right now. Nice self-sustained media defense setup. Thank you. Noxyway Gaming. Um, also put a recycling machine with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't... I, I always have what I need, and we very rarely need recycling mach facilities. I always just handcraft one. So that's fine. Uh, what else? What else? Let's just check the blueprint again. Check, 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 check. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have chemical plants on me. Media defense installations. Wouldn't want to forget that. Wait, do we have that on not on Moors already? I don't think we did. In fact, that is probably why Moors is so messed up. Might have something to do with it. Okay, then. Uh, we've got chemical plants, oil refineries, fuel refineries. Uh, lots of prod speed, a few beacons. I don't need to be carrying centrifuges all the time. Let's get rid of those for now. I'm surprised I'm carrying six multi-cylinder engines exactly. Oh, I guess that's not... That's surprising. Um, don't see chemical plant in the blueprint. It is only there for... Uh, for making batteries for the media defense installation ammo. We do need to take a whole lot of solar panels. And I'm not sure how many are left here at the moment. Um, because apparently we've stopped placing the flat solar panels up here. Um, but I know we've got a bunch of them in orbit. Oh! We recently sent them downstairs, and I think I changed the target to... Here it is, this landing pad right here. Okay, cool. Um... I think we will put a whole bunch of those in our... What's the ratio for this again? Uh, six to one. How many flat solars do we have here? Like 3,000? Oh. 2.2. Nearly 10,000. Well, I don't think we're going to place 10,000. How many flat solar panels did we use on... This planet, for example. Uh, just under 2k? Alright then. Let's go for 2000 left solar. And 12,000 accumulators. Uh, I don't think we're making accumulators here locally, but we're having the trains bring them in, since they're pretty... Okay, we need to add that request. I don't know if I want to bother with regular solar panels here anymore. Or I could just... 
I, I could have just like one stack of them built here. Like so. Is it not happening because we already have the solar panels? We do. We have 87. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Take a look at that blueprint again. We got all of this stuff. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, don't forget media defense installations. Oh! And don't forget this cute little spider that I almost left on the ground. Who's a good spider? There you go. Uh, let's see. We're going to want... 10 of these. I miss look. Oh, right. Okay. And then... Do we have those here? I think we do. On the way, 12. Fantastic. Uh, actually, I think I already did set up the requests to build those over here somewhere. Nope, I did not. Uh, why don't we add that down this way? Media... Defense install. Did I pick defense installation or point defense earlier? Let's set that to 10 and yeah, make it 20. And begin crafting. We also want the point defenses in case we ever decide to use those again. Uh, I guess some ammo is in order. Now, did I request the wrong thing? I did. Zero of those, please. Ten of these. A Morpheus sound? Wrong media defense? Yep, got it in one. Are you not building the global ones? I meant to request the global ones. Uh, I should also request a umbrella. Wait, do we have an umbrella on Mars? No. I don't think... I don't think we brought one. And for the time it would take to check... I could ask the bots to build one. Do we have the RoboPort range there? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I never brought an umbrella when I went down here. Okay. Uh, looking back on this first sad attempt at a outpost, not only did I make uh, what took me a while to decide was a mistake in processing the core fragments on the planet. It is cool making the whole thing self-sufficient, but it takes so much more logistics than sending delivery cannons back and forth. Um, obviously much, much much, much, much easier when you do something like... Oh. Oh. Hazer got hit by a CME. Well, that aside, um... This is obviously a lot easier to deal with. Um... Although, in this case, we have to send uh, uranium back here to power the whole thing. Uh, this one we are using just the point defenses. But yeah, I forgot to include a uh, umbrella for this one. And 
It looks like the pipes and the power for the pump jacks. No, not the power, actually. Just some of the pipes that fuel the rocket to come home if we ever visit there again. Uh, got a little bit owned. When is our next coronal mass ejection? Uh, energy beams. One day, 22 minutes. And it's headed for Nalvis Orbit. We've got that one protected. Okay. So, we've got our umbrella. Don't leave home without your umbrella. Uh, I think that might be it. We should also take... I, I think we've already got plenty of um, cargo rocket sections here, maybe. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't need to carry the mining drills over there. Fantastic. Four mining drill. Uh, drill. What else is in this? We're launching these rockets very often. I think this is because I put the um, the satellite telemetry data all the way down here into this train station. Um, I created a very, very, very large demand to fill this space. And so far, we're still running off of just this um, satellite rocket silo. I wonder if it would be easier to... Heat shielding, LDS, rocket control unit, solid rocket fuel. Heat shielding, LDS, rocket control unit, solid rocket fuel. We could be... Do we get the same satellite telemetry data if we launch from from Nalvis Orbit? We could even put this in the exact same spot. Making good progress with the space base? Um, we're getting there. Uh, you loose ends to tie up. I really want to get, I, 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 I said before, oh, crude oil core fragments, not interested. It turns out I'm wrong about that because I think it's just, maybe I don't have enough fluid wagons or maybe, um, maybe it's just the length of the trips or something. But even though I connected up a whole bunch of uh, crude oil pickups. Um, we still seem to be struggling. Like, everywhere all the time there's crude oil to be picked up by the hundred thousand. And yet, currently all of our oil blocks are starving. Well, almost all of them are starving for crude oil. The longer the trip, the more trains you need, yes. So I could make also, I've been meaning to do this for a long time actually, I kind of want to try to fit some of this neatly into a rail block, so we can copy paste that a bit more nicely and have more fluid wagons. Um, although the fact that we've got multiple fluid wagons here right now uh, just waiting for orders suggests to me that a shortage of trains is not the real issue. Except everywhere I look here, for example, there's definitely a hundred thousand crude oil here. There isn't a train on the way. And down here we don't have that much crude oil. I don't really understand why. However, um, 
getting crude oil from the core fragments, we could have them drop in right next door to all of this crude right here. Uh, and we would also get some regular core fragments and stone out of it. And we get to clean up our old base a bit. So I think we're just about ready. I hope I'm not forgetting anything this time. Uh, let's not run through the water. Let's drop some more accumulators and nothing else, I guess. And EPS is all the way back up to 37. Nice. Speaking of UPS, um, apart from a bit of an upgrade I've been thinking about or procrastinating for quite a while, there are a couple of things I would change. If, if I'd known just how big space exploration was going to get, um... Like, if I was playing this by myself, if I wasn't streaming it, I would probably restart the whole thing. I would do things different and not have, for example, 24 chests and 48 inserters um, for a train stop. Uh, I would use fewer machines where possible, although I'm already using beacons everywhere. Um... The giant containers not only simplify things, but it's better UPS-wise. It, like, auto-balances all these things. You don't need as many circuits. Although, considering that they're wide as well as long, it makes fitting things a little bit trickier in some places. Is crude oil fragment worthy? I lack of crude oil. Yeah, uh, I didn't think I would bother with crude oil fragment. We don't have accumulators. Wait, did I not? Oh, I forgot to set a request for them. Accumulator. Uh, 9,000. A creakling? Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So accumulators are just over here. We've already got a train on the way. Bringing it back to the mall. Fantastic. And I was thinking maybe right about here. Wait, are these all empty? They are. While we're waiting, let's uh, clear those out a bit. And... These, how many of these are empty? There we go. Uh, I guess if we use pick a dollies, shove these over a bit. Not too much. We can maybe fit this rail here. And I was thinking for. For the block that deals with core fragments of the oil variety, um, I guess it's probably, well, it's not going to look mostly the same because there's going to be far fewer, all of these other ones break down to five core fragments, one stone, and like ten of something else, uh, almost all of them anyway. But this one is just fluid, five core fragments and one stone. Uh, if anything, that should make it much easier to deal with. So we just need... We'll start... I should get rid of these double station inputs. We really haven't needed the kind of throughput I've built for 
I mean, I guess it's better to have more. I except for UPS, it's better to have more than we need. I don't know how much UPS idle machines use up, though. If we use the same layout, a lot of these belts are really, really unnecessary. Uh, in fact, we could basically copy the same layout, get rid of all of this. I mean, we could do this on the left if we want, but that's actually all it takes for the physical output. This will be crude oil pickup. Yeah, I guess that's still the easiest way to go about it. Um, we won't have, like, this roundabout bit here properly for the meantime, but actually I may stand corrected. Yeah, we can pretty much just copy-paste it and change it a little bit. And... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Um... Something I should have thought of a while ago, actually. Well... I guess it... It, it, it carries the assumption that core fragments are not going to be used anywhere else. But it seems like a pretty safe assumption at this point. Um, I could really just have the delivery cannon right here to begin with. Or some delivery cannons right here to, uh, chests rather, right here to begin with. Instead of having a block here where all the stuff from the delivery cannons is picked up and then we take it somewhere else. When I built this, though, I did have it in my head that we would um, use these stations for multiple resources each, so that would have saved a ton of space. But... We could easily do two resources for each of these stations if we want to... Use different sizes of, sides of the belt and filter inserters here. Um, that would mean we would get uh, 32 different resource pickups from one of these blocks. Yeah, I wouldn't even need to change the shape. Okay, the trouble is, how do you keep the two resources balanced here? Yeah, never mind. I think I would rather just copy this if I've run out of places to... Oh, we've got one for cryonite rods. And we're getting cryonite core fragments instead, so we've got room for one more. Fantastic. Let's make this... Or a fragment crude oil. Nice. And add this to the whitelist. Crude oil core fragment. So we won't have to make another one of these just yet. Empty belt. Empty belt? Is the big UPS consumer? Really? Empty? I thought full or empty would be about the same, and having something between full and empty would be the biggest consumer of UPS. It takes three tick to wake up and then start consuming UPS. Idle machine doesn't consume UPS. Oh, nice. Yesterday I removed all biters from Nalvis. My UPS went up from 30 to 60. Yeah, that's why... That's why the campaign continues. Um, I remember the, uh... Uh, the Death World playthrough I was doing on stream. I accidentally loaded it without, uh, Rampant mod activated. 
And instead of like 28 or something, the UPS went straight back up to high 50s. Uh, someone also mentioned that uh, memory is a pretty big bottleneck for Factorio when you've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, if that's the case, even if that's not that true, um, it wouldn't surprise me if I can do much better by upgrading my RAM on this machine because... I'm pretty sure it's a significant bottleneck. That's something I kind of messed up. It's a long story. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little upgrade I've been putting off for quite a while, actually. I kind of got a, a, a huge stick of RAM for a bargain. Um, but it wasn't dual channel. Okay. Uh, how about you hit a few more before you continue? Before you go back, rather. I could get them to do a lot more in one trip, but I don't want to have to remember that they're there. In debug mode, you can see what exactly costs the most UPS. Yeah. Um, I actually had something going on yesterday where train path... Uh, UPS dropped to, like, 9, and train pathfinder was almost all of it. And it turned out, uh, I believe it was this station right here? I've been meaning to update the way these trash pickups work. Um, destination full trash pick. Uh, okay. Well, that's another reason I need to update those. Um, the way I had them set up was anything greater than zero in these chests, and the station would be active disabled otherwise. Um, I need to change... Why are they all not moving, though? I thought if I had just one trash pickup station that worked by train limit instead, I wouldn't get the behavior where if their destination... Um, if their destination switched off, they would all stop. But yeah, I actually need to go through the entire base and find all of the trash pickup stations at a combinator, because you can't do it without a combinator. And unless you want a very, very high train limit under certain circumstances. Um, I mean, I could set the train limit to... Actually, I don't think I could. Set train limit, train limit signal... Can't be like each or anything or anything like that. So yeah, you do need a combinator if you're going to set the train limit. Unless you know what type of resource is going to be in the chest, which the whole point of the trash pickup is we don't know what's here. Just take it back to the robo network. Couldn't use a dummy station. Uh, that's what I tried, but it didn't have the effect that I was hoping for. Anyway, um, before we get carried away with little distractions like that, uh, I would like to... Looks like this is ready. Fantastic. I would like to go to Mars. Alright, who thinks they can predict what I'm forgetting here. Also, if we're bringing these back... Um, I would love to add some 
circuit logic to these that sets the recipe for... Where is it? Oh, we need a centrifuge for this anyway. Let's drop a centrifuge. If I'm carrying one, which I'm not. We have some here. Okay, cool. Good catch. Um, I don't think we're going to need more than one. No, we, are, we probably are. Let's put it here for now. Quest. Uh, purple chest, I guess. Substation. Okay. No more distractions. Let's go to Moors. General vicinity because the landing pad is full. I don't, wait, I want to double check we don't just have another landing pad lying around. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't. And we don't have somewhere to put all of these 610 slots of stuff. Nope. I think we're just going to lose a few items here. It's fine. How you solve with dummy station? Oh, right. Ammo, spiders... I've got... Uh, I don't actually have ammo. Good point. Let's bring some media defense ammo just to get started. On the off chance that there's some medias coming in while I'm there uh, that are unhelpful while I'm building. Spiders, nuclear fuel cells. Yeah, we're not going to run this one off nuclear. Um, this should be fine. We can always send some stuff if we've forgotten. But I think this is about it. Okay. Off we go to Moors. And while that's launching, let's check on our spiders. They haven't taken any actual damage, or if they have, it's already been repaired. Fantastic. Nice of them to cross paths right when I was checking on them. Meanwhile, on... Uh, rows. Things continue as they have been. Very, very, very slowly approaching the point where uh, the mass drivers have cleared it all up. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, I don't have any shielding in my thruster suit. I guess that makes sense. Right then. Uh, I should probably turn off my RoboPort before my... Too late. Before my inventory gets horrifically full. Um, I was going to say I think here is a good spot for a solar field, but... Well, yeah. It, it is. Oh, poor train. Ripping pepperonis. I don't think we need a whole lot of room for our... No, barely any room. I think I'd like to build it here just because... Um... I do want to update this blueprint so that the part with the core mining drills and... Uh, making the delivery cannon capsules scales much better. Let's see if we can start 
with this. Right by port on. Do I not? Do I not have robots? Or no, my robots were picking things up. They're all creeping back over this way. Except there's going to be no room in my inventory for them. Uh, okay. Spiders. Now let's go back to Narvis for a second. Uh, I want to copy this. And that's just going to update the logistic requests for them. They worked okay in vanilla with caveats, however with the latter improvements to trains it's easier to manage trains now. Indeed. Supply over demand. Uh, what do you mean by supply over demand? You have a parking lot with an impossible to reach station. Oh yeah. That's right, I forgot having- I forgot about having to do that in particular. Making the, uh, the one that's available inaccessible. Yeah, there's some kind of silly things that you have to do with vanilla trains. Okay, what I'm hoping... Actually, I think I did this on the desert planet. Um, no, I just threw in a beacon, which that's fine too, I guess. It looks like we don't need that speed module there with the beacon. Uh, we can prod this one up a bit better. But yeah, I I want to do all of this with direct insertion if I can. Um, ideally, I would like to be able to fit... I think just one of these is enough for all of these cannons, isn't it? No, it's not. We're very much bottlenecked on the delivery cannon capsules. Okay. So, if I can manage it... Without using belts or anything here, I would love to use just direct insert to have um, a very full inventory. Uh, how about... How about this? I will be your logistic network for today. I should have brought a lot more bots as well. Uh, rip. I'll keep 50 for myself. No, that's too many. Uh, you guys can have all of the bots, except I'll take a, a few back. And for now, I'll reconfigure this to local instruction spiders. And would you please go start building some solar panels? We don't need more cryonite, so that's fine. Do we still need this? No, oh, there's no uranium here. Okay, I think we can just get rid of all of that. Although, that is so much sulfuric acid, I kind of want to... kind of want to salvage it so we don't have to send barrels here until the end of time. Or at least not for a while. Maybe that's being a bit greedy. 
Uh, I forgot to get these guys to follow the leader. Two. Three. And four. Wait for your friends. Are you going to get stuck? Almost. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How large is your Nalvis planet and did you scan all of it? I think mine is 6400 or so. And I'm not enthused to reveal it all. Uh, Nalvis in this save is only 5700. And yes, I scanned it all, um, so I could get a good idea of... Since, since, since I'm working towards clearing all of the biters, um... Uh... Can I not benefit from my physical remotes while I'm looking at Nalvis? I guess not. Let's make some imaginary remotes. Wait, how many rockets do you guys have? Quite a few still. Let's get you to clear out a couple more bases before you go home. And then back you go. All right. That'll be a large save file then. Mine's already up to 170 meg. Yeah. I prefer having trains. Uh, wait for its turn to supply, then waiting for trains to get supplies. Oh, you mean like um. Well, one or two of two things. Uh. Have trains waiting full of resources to go where they're going if you're doing vanilla trains. Um, but also, in general, you should always make sure, if you can, insofar as you're able to, you should make sure you have, like, way more iron ore than it takes to feed the smelters, way more smelters than it takes to feed the main bus, and so on. I want everything to be satisfied, not held up. Yes. Absolutely. I believe that's better for UPS as well. Uh, let's get our spooters over this way. And start laying out some solar panels. Wow, that's a good fit. Almost tile perfect. And almost perfect sizing to the robo ports, but not quite. Okay. Now, uh, what I'd really love to get away with here somehow is like, I guess we can move this. Uh, two of these, plus this, beaconed, and I guess the rest doesn't have to be. And we need to direct insert for everything. I don't think there's a way to do this. Surely not. If we put this one... Like, at the corner. It obviously can't direct insert from that one. What about... Hello. What about like this? And beacon... 
will suffer from depression. Um, hmm. I definitely want... I, I could use two beacons if it's absolutely necessary, I suppose. I would love to have wide area beacons by now. What does it take to get the wide beacons? Or at least the next wide? Energy Science Pack 2. I've actually researched that. Holmium Cable, Significant Data, Broad Energy Catalog. That's the first thing that I don't recognize. Energy Insight, Energy Science Pack 1. Wow, so you just have to upgrade the existing science packs. And then a bunch of cold thermo. Uh, broad Energy Catalog. Broad... Broad energy catalog. Isn't that... Oh, no. Energy catalog. Conductivity data... Electro... Okay, so these four are completely different. So it's a whole other... Chain not going to worry about that for now. Um, I think I think I just got to use one more beacon here. Assuming we're going to even use well no we will use beacons for this. Okay. In that case, could put it like here. Um, these would go here. And then Belt like so. We do want them on just one side of the belt, so like that'd be fine. I guess that's not too bad. And then I think I would rather not have the capsules and uh. The capsules and the core mining fragments sharing a belt, actually. Because I've run into making a bit more than half of a belt. We're not going to do it on this small planet, but I have run into making a bit more than half a belt of core fragments before. Alright. So that's going to be our... If I'm going to have nine of these using both sides of the belt, well, I, I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of room for them over here. Two, three, four. Uh, four. We don't have room for five there, do we? Okay. Blue belt goes here. And like this. Surround that cannon with four? With four what? Damn, I really don't want to restart. Yeah, I know that feeling at this point. Too much water. Delivery capsules delivered. Wait, what? Also, Maholo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sigma Bean, you too. Uh, let me just scroll chat and make sure I don't miss anything. 
Rockets go brr, indeed. Oh, what mod makes it possible to move assemblers without losing their recipe? It is called Picker Dollies. Uh, kind of a weird name, but yeah, if I point at something like this, hold shift and use the cursor keys, it'll let me move them around. And bonus points, uh, if you have the navigation satellite, and let's see, I wonder if it works with, nope. Uh, if you find a tree with the navigation satellite and you have picker dollies, you can move it around. Brilliant. Happy episode 100, thank you. Did you start this on default settings? I'm having a really rough time finding iron patches. Yes, I did, and I regret it. The start was slower than it needs to be. Uh, let's see. Try if Core Miner can direct input to delivery cannon. It can, but because of the diminishing returns, uh, if I'm using more than one... Actually, I'm pretty sure just one core mining drill, even on a small planet, uh, well, depending on how small it is, you'll need more than one delivery cannon to keep up. But that's actually, uh, I think we still have it. One of the first outposts like this. Yeah, here we go. Core mining drill is uh, mining directly into the delivery cannon. And away it goes. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't take that much to go faster than the uh, delivery cannon can keep up with because of how long it takes to charge. Uh, Ganagin, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I've heard of Picker, yes indeed. Uh, time to make a botanical garden. Yes. Did you see that warning message? 24 hours before Nalvis Orbit is hit. Might want to set up that space umbrella. I think we have already. Yeah, I saw it like 20 minutes early as well, because I was going out of my way to check. Because actually we got hit on, I think it was Taser. But all we lost was some pipes uh, supporting the liquid rocket fuel if we have to send a cargo rocket back. So I need to go there and set up an umbrella, but uh, but there's no need just yet. Oh, and Orbit uh, does have an umbrella. And we've got like 300 megawatts out of 2.3 gigawatts. And 5 gigajoules of storage. Should be... Maybe okay? 149 gigajoules, jeez. 1.8 gigawatt peak power. Uh, so what was it? 2.3 gigawatt. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. On... in orbit. No stress then? Not this time. Um, I kind of want to place these uh, poor mining drills manually because after what happened on Morpheus? Not Morpheus. Oh, this is Rose. Uh, Morpheus. Where we had like core mining... I, I think this is after Biders broke them or something, but... We had core mining drills that, I don't know if them getting placed by the roboports had something to do with it, but they were there, except they were sort of fake, like only two of them actually worked. Um, and I had to physically go over there, pick them up, and... Uh, well, this is taking a while to refuel. I mean, I knew that, but still. It's like... 50% as fast as it takes to fill this up. 
And here I thought we had quite a bit of stuff placed in order to... in order to pump out that liquid rocket fuel. I should make a more refined version of that autocrafter because if, if we can get the, uh, if we can get the prerequisite prioritization down, I would love to have just one machine that can make everything we need here, or it'd be like a couple of machines if if there are things that can't be made in an assembly machine. But um, I would love to have just one assembly machine here that I can tell it that we need like, you know, 20 more fuel, uh, uh, fuel refineries or something. And it, it'd be slow, but that's totally fine for this situation. Okay. Uh, anyway, back to what we were doing. Let's go pick up those core mining drills. Also, get the spiders to continue on a little bit. Uh, oh, that's right. They're not carrying most of the solar panels and stuff that we brought here. Oh. We have a little robo network here. Uh, why don't we put some storage down? And we'll let the bots pick up all of this mess for us. And I was going to go and pick up four mining drills. What a mess. And don't forget this one as well. Okay. I guess we can put down 10. It's fine. It'll be equivalent to slightly more than three of these machines. With the diminishing returns. Okay. So with these two machines making... Uh, Delivery cannon capsules. I don't know exactly how many delivery cannons we'll be able to support with this. Uh, how fast is this going to be? Only 14.4 core fragments per second, so... 6 is probably going to be more than enough. Alright. And we're going to need to receive from Nalvis DC Rail Receiver number one. Uh, we're going to use the fast inserters on this side. The ones that pick up... Oh, that's like an odd number, isn't it? No? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, need a substation somewhere. Like here. Sound is getting a bit weird. Alright. Have I... I haven't run out of blue belt. My construction bots are just prioritizing weird things, and I'm not using very many of them. Uh, 
Okay. Right then. So that's going to go here. Our condition for picking up the delivery cutting capsule, which is as close as we can get to enable disable on the delivery cannon itself, since we can't connect to that directly, is going to be crude oil fragment greater than zero, which comes from our array of delivery cannon chests. If there's no... Uh, we measure what's in all of these chests, and we also have a constant combinator that says crude oil fragment uh, 1 and then we say put that into here also put the contents of the chest in here and only if something is exactly equal to 1 do we output that signal so then if this is greater than zero, we're allowed to send crude oil fragments. As for the fragments themselves, they can be picked up all the time unconditionally. Would this fit here? Yeah, it would. I would like to leave room to double this. Uh, in a way that's relatively elegant. Okay. So these are unconditional. Uh, and then we set this to... Nervous. Uh... And it was this one. Yes. Switch on, target, and then copy paste, make sure those are all the same. We also need to give ammo to all of these. Connect it up to our... Well, we're going to need a lot more solar panels placed before we're ready to connect those. Uh, let's bring our construction spiders back to storage. That's not storage. Do we have any logistic bots here? Zero. Alright, let's fix that. And... Logistic bots go burn. I kind of want to set up something basic to melt these resources lying around. We don't have vulcanite blocks here, do we? Uh, we have 1.2k. Uh, it's fine. Copper. Steel. Uh, stone brick. And glass. Actually, can I move that over a bit? Prod, prod, prod. Quest chest.
Okay. And that's just so that we can make some use of all of this junk lying around. We need sand for glass, true. Almost forgot. Sand. should all be green actually. Um don't know if I'll even bother with the limits for the moment. Let's just get all of that out of here. Don't know where I got that uranium from. Right then. You guys carrying solar panels? By default, good. Seems like they're resupplied for the moment. Vanilla or SE? A little disappointed there's nothing faster on the ground than vanilla express belts. There's, um... What do you call it? There's some fancy belt that we got. Not going to be able to make it for a while. Well, I don't know how long. Material science pack 4? Oh no. It needs tier 4 of everything except tier 2 deep space science and then you get deep space underground belt it does a whopping 64 per second as opposed to 45 um, you get a little bit of it and I do mean a little bit in the uh, the satellite that you find in Nalvis orbit This belt, it's not on the ground. Yeah, you can use this other belt on the ground, but it is even more late game than I was expecting. Yeah, you can place the deep space belt on the ground. I used a little bit of it uh, over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there it is. But... You can't place space belt on the ground, uh, on the ground, but that's just the same as blue belt space belt is. Okay. Now then, we need these solar panels placed. We need connections to the main network, and we need this thing connected to the main network, but I'm a little bit scared. Uh, we've got... wait, what? 103 out of 408 kilowatts. That doesn't sound right. Is that on its own network? Yeah, it is. Okay gonna get rid of this power switch stuff. That was for power managing the core mining drills. I've got a much better way to power manage core mining drills these days.
Okay. Let's go tidy that bit up. Oh, it's right here. Where are my bots? I know I kept... Oh, there they are. That's the one thing that I really should have put in the rocket. Uh, make sure I bring an abundance of construction bots. Can I make some while I'm here? I mean, I know I can, but how much of a pain is it going to be? I think I will go ahead and handcraft ten of them. Absolutely. Big electric motor and battery are the parts that need oil. Anyway, uh, we've got that connected to the main network. 20 megawatts. Uh, I think these all use 10 megawatts each just by sitting idle. This uses 10 megawatt, this is 2. And the coal mining drills, when they're working, are 50 each as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a few more solar panels to be placed before we're ready for that. You can use Bob mode if you really want faster build. Directly input material to machine with train and landing pad. Yeah, direct insertion is uh, better for UPS as well, from what I understand. But yeah, the fact that like a stack inserter, no matter how big the stack size is, It'll pick up the entire stack in one tick, if it's picking it up from a container. Whereas when it picks it up from the belt, or when it puts it onto the belt for that matter, um, it has to take its time. Alright. Oh, that's where I got the uranium from. Wow, I wonder if uh, letting all these rocks rain on the planet, we eventually would have got enough uranium to get Coverex started. Considering we literally mined the entire planet for uranium, and it wasn't quite enough to get the Coverex system started. Uh, anyway, spiders have done their thing for the moment. Let's go top left here. Uh, sun is rising, so I'd like to get this thing connected quite soon. Oh. No, I didn't bring enough substations. Please tell me there's some over here. There's 550. Okay, cool. I can live with that. I probably shouldn't get my bots to pick up these things at range when I only have... 20 of them when I'm done crafting this. A few spares, yes. Yes, indeed. I've already gone through almost half of my repair packs. Not that they're a huge pain to craft some more of. I'm sure there'll be enough uranium for you after the media... Totally crush your base. Yeah, they've kind of already done that, more or less. I did abandon this base quite a long time ago. It kind of reminds me of... Did anyone play the old Factorio single player where, like... I, I don't know, the third or fourth level or something. There was a base that had been chewed on by biters and it... There was a bunch of stuff there for you to fix up, it kind of gave you some hints as to how to play. Like the tutorial, yeah, I guess so. I don't remember the, the newer tutorial that well, oddly enough. Um, I guess I'm going to bottleneck on power if I keep this up. Okay, let's go get those substations. And 
Yeah, we've got nuclear power here. And a whole lot of regular old electric furnaces. This is when I was building a Omni smelter without... Um, I was designing an Omni smelter without industrial furnaces because you need the crafting combinator mod. Because you have to set the recipes for these ones, you need the crafting combinator mod to make that happen. Uh, in vanilla, obviously, it's possible to do that without that mod. Okay. Um, if my bots will finish running around repair repairing things for a moment. Okay, Robocort off for a sec. Well, let's go drop off some of these substations. I'll give the rest to the spiders. And I really want to connect this up and see how much... See how many megawatts we've got. Good to see you've got plenty of wood for those boxes you needed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I still have no idea. Uh, let's see. It looks like we've gotten over the desire to make wooden boxes here. Whatever was causing that. Need to get some green circuits delivered. Um into the old base. Alright, are we connected? 15 megawatts? Oh, this side is 15 megawatts. Yeah, we're gonna be doubling the power here pretty soon. 135, okay, that might be enough that we can... Uh... It might be enough that we can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget the substations. Don't forget to give them to the spiders. Alright, there you go. Now then. Robopot off because I need my bots to let me leave here. One day. Um, I would also like to, let's see, deconstruction planner, flat solar, accumulator, substation, and there's a bunch of rocks here that I don't want to see anymore. Oh, make sure it's a blacklist. There we go. Alright, let's connect up the media defenses. Now that it's uh, night time, actually, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting when they add Armageddon scenario. 24 hour warning. 24 hour warning. Hold on. Let's connect this over here. And how bad is how bad is it looking? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be doing this in the middle of the night, but considering they're all up to 5% already, it might be okay. Okay. Worst case, everything crashes until morning. Can I deconstruct planner? Uh, I wish I could select all the asteroids at once. Uh, 
Okay. In fact, there's no reason to keep all of this here. Let's just pick it up directly. Oh, that's pretty full, isn't it? Yes, back for more. Okay. Uh, I do not actually want to leave jetpacks here when I go. Oh, I should probably start setting up this, uh, this thing already to be ready to go. Let's see. Quest a chest. Uh, can I do this? Nope. Alright. Capsule. Cargo. Rocket section. Quest from buffer chests. I know we have some in here as well. There they are. I was getting everything except the cryonite rods out of here. Uh, Inventory is looking a bit full though. Hmm. What do I actually want to take? Should I just shove all of this stuff out back into the robo network and let them sort it out? It's gonna take the bots some time, but I th think it's fine. We'll just put only one. Okay, I didn't realize that chest would be so full, but yeah, we'll limit this to one uh, active provider chest. So it doesn't use up all of the bot uh, throughput all the time. I do have 50 storage chests here, that's 2400 inventory slots, and this is like 600 and something, 610. So we'll definitely be able to fit everything in the logistic network. Planet hit by Armageddon will be rich with every material. That sounds interesting. Abandon or protect your machine. Hold on, let me scroll up a bit more. 24 hour warning... So that's for the Armageddon mission. I right, see. 200 media defense installation to destroy the Armageddon media. Planet hit by it will be rich in every material. Just let it hit. <laughs> but the planet is in high temperature. Interesting. Okay. Uh... You got solar panels and stuff? Yes, good. 
I should definitely bump up the requests on these ones for solar panels and accumulators. Let's make it like 10 stacks of each. Um, and since I'm here, I'll give him a hand directly. Give these guys a bit so I don't accidentally put the stuff back in the logistic network. they full yet? Oh, they've got limits. Uh, whoops. Can I... Can I not set this to infinite? There we go. 500 to infinite. 200 to... I can't drag this without... 200 to infinite. Was it this one? Yep. But that won't put it, that won't take it out of the trash slots. Wait, did, no, I was going to say, did even distribution take it out of the trash slots? That, that would be nice. Okay, nothing in the trash slots. This goes here. This goes here. So on. And finally got them all. No, I didn't. Uh, there's a few more somewhere. That's fine. Most of the accumulators and solar panels are in the Spidertrons now. And we'll build the solar panels wherever they fit. Sounds like a movie I saw recently. Yeah. You can build a bunker and hibernate inside if you decide to let Armageddon hit Nalvis, and you got no rocket to escape. Options. So are you then going to need life support on the surface of Nalvis? How much power do we have here? Uh... Not that much yet. So much junk to take care of here. These shouldn't be regular rail signals. Not that I'm going to keep using them. All right. Sunrise is coming. Accumulated charge is full already. Then how is this? Is this on a different electrical network? Uh. Seventy-five megawatts. One hundred seventeen megawatts. Where is it disconnected? Oh, it's a power switch. Again. That's right, I remember we had like a severe lack of power when we were trying to bootstrap everything here. Okay. 270 megawatts. 280. 294. Okay, cool. 
And it looks like these things are going to finish charging before the solar panels even get... Oh, they're actually fully warmed up already. Why is this power network... Oh, I see. How do I reset the filters? There we go. Okay. So, media defense installations are charged. Fantastic. Everything full power, even with every, with all of that connected. Let's get some more substations down this way. Indeed. All right. Uh, more solar panels. How many more have we got? Quite a lot, it looks like. And you know what? Everything's infinite. I'm going to learn to stop worrying and love deleting stuff like this. It's fine. Although, I would rather the construction bots repair things before putting them into inventory. Uh, where's our spooters? Do they not have repair packs? They do not. We should probably automate those. Probably. Uh, let's see. Two things that go into re that go into repair packs. That's not right here. Um, bit of copper here as well, please. And I guess I could shove a few of these in here. Get back less than 200. Stone brick less than that. Can't prod this. Oh, you, wait, you can prod repair packs? Since when? That feels very weird. Well, I'll take it. Now then. I guess I won't wait uh, for the repair packs to pick this stuff up. Let's make sure we get rid of everything here that's going to be in the way. That's not going to fit. Oh, that was perfect. Fantastic. Alright. It's fine, they're a consumable. <laughs> guess. Alright, we good? Let me just check something real quick. This time, don't forget to mute. Alright, cool. Oops. There we go. Now then, this is a surprising amount of uranium. It almost makes me want to set up, um, like just a system with roboports and little else, just to catch fallen meteors. Um, 
now then? We've got the drills, we've got... Uh, I don't know how much power we've got. That's not enough to start drilling. Although, actually... Uh, I did talk a little bit, or at least alluded to... Uh, being able to... Power manage the core mining drills without using a power switch. And the trick there is pretty straightforward. Uh, anything that has a minimum power consumption of zero, which surprisingly enough does include the core mining drills, uh, you can just block the output belt. So we're going to say accumulator charge has to be completely full. Otherwise the belt is going to stop. And with that, uh, let's actually put down an accumulator first. Of which I just happen to be carrying exactly one, so that's kind of convenient. Um... That doesn't line up very well. Unfortunate. Alright. And this one. Now. Can we fit this all the way over here? No. Uh, let's see. Where am I going to put it? Oh, I know. Can this reach here? Fantastic. Accumulator goes here. Connects like so. Default outputs A, 0 to 100, depending on percentage full. And what's going to happen here is... These belts are going to be blocked until we're fully charged on the accumulator. And as soon as it drops below 100%, we're going to block it again. So even with this uh, small uh, surplus of power, we can put it into core mining. So it's 500 megawatts per 10. Yes, that's correct. Um, we're obviously going to need a lot more power to get that decent usage out of 10 of these, uh, but now I don't have to come back and do this after we get the solar panels placed. And I'm not carrying any substations. Whoops. Oh, we also need to set up our Delivery cannons on Nalvis. Now's a good time for that. Uh, while we're doing that, let's get... Uh, I wish this hotbar would continue to work when I'm in the satellite mode. Um, one of these is the leader. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? There we go. Okay. You follow this one. You go over here. You follow this one. And you guys continue to deconstruct this old thing. Now. Uh, this is going to be pointed at mods. Destination is here. And we need to configure this. Actually, I need to configure this thing first. Bonk. Isn't repair pack always can make an assembly machine? Yes. What? I don't... 
I don't understand. Um, this is going to be Moore's DC chest. Surprised it can be prodded. Yeah, I don't think it can be prodded in vanilla unless they changed it. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. So this one has to be set to Moore's DC chest. And that way we're not going to insert uh, delivery cannons until we're ready. After these two, obviously. That's our copper. And once we've got some copper, we stop saying, please send us copper. Um, I'm going to make a slight change to this, as I have done in a couple of other places. We're going to make this uh, each... Was it less than or equal to one? So as it is now, just like we do on that other on Nalvis, um, we have a list of things that are whitelisted, and then we have each equal to one output each. So if there's zero copper plate in this chest, we're gonna send a signal of one copper plate here. Um, but I want more than a single stack of explosives to keep up with two of these. So, we're going to set this to negative 200. And this one's going to be uh, less than or equal to 1. Um, and then, that should result in sending a few stacks of explosives. So, we're going to set this to Moors, and now we have some explosives, we're still requesting explosives. There should be another launch in just a second. Way it goes. And then... I should probably upgrade this to a stack inserter. It will load in a couple more delivery cannon capsules while this condition is met. But other than that, uh, once we have more than 200 explosives, uh, once we have 200 or more explosives in here, uh, it will stop sending a signal. There we go. Perfect. Um, alright, so... Next is heat shielding and LDS. Just tried prod modules in repair assembler. Nope, in vanilla. Yep, I thought so. That's why I found it so weird. Let's give it a target. And give this one a target. Added stone to the media installation ingredients. Receive silo. So it can make repair pack. It is good for biter planet. Yes. Excuse me. Needing stone in the recipe is a little confusing for me. Yeah, I found that a bit odd as well. Um, okay, so iron plate also goes in this chest. And I think that's everything. Uh, iron, copper... Oh, uh, sulfuric acid barrels. These four. And the only stuff that goes here specifically is steel and stone brick. 
Uh, where are we going? I'll do the steel after the sulfuric acid just to illustrate something. Once stone brick goes here. So that's this one is done. And then excuse me. Sulfuric acid barrel goes here. And then we make batteries, we make media defense installation ammo. We get steel from uh, recycling the barrels. That goes into the delivery cannon chest. We only send steel directly here if the delivery cannon chest is empty of steel. And luckily it does take... Obviously it takes more steel than what we get from the barrels to support the media defense installation ammo, otherwise we would end up with a problem of having to get rid of something. Um, but yeah. Last one to set up is steel. And this goes here. And I believe that is everything. Fantastic. Alright, so that should be Moors completely supplied. We're already... Oh wow, I forgot. Yeah, we're already sending back... Uh, uh, the core fragments. Fantastic. Now we just need to... Uh, place the rest of these solar panels so that we won't be too bottlenecked on power here. Um, looks like we're reaching full accumulator charge very early in the morning already. Which is good. Um... We're only getting a trickle, really, of core fragments because uh, we're not producing enough power to keep all the core miners going at full speed all the time. Radars? Um, don't really need any because of the navigation satellite. You can, uh, you can reveal anything pretty much anywhere with the navsat. It's only for ease of, uh, like on Nalvis for instance, I do use them just like I do in vanilla here because I just find it easier to look around that way. Um, also to show where the biters are and stuff. Oh, that reminds me, I should definitely be keeping the pressure up. Can I point at the purple leader spider, please? Oh, there we go. Pixel hunt complete. Use belt to supply the media installation. The belt also act as a buffer in transit. Yeah, definitely. Its capacity is not high, but it is not zero. All right. Let's uh, bring this group over here. Make sure you get the rest of these. Take some time to recharge your shields. And head over this way. Do a little circle to make sure you're not getting outranged. When you sit still. Oops. That was the wrong one. To reset the remote. 
Okay, and this group down this way. And then do a happy little circle around. Oh, there's like a, it's probably a worm, but let's make sure. And that'll give them plenty of time to recharge their shields. Okay, check on them in a little while. Uh... That's weird. Wait, is this... Why do I see a significant gap in our overall accumulator charge, but this one's full? I guess it's because we just placed a bunch of them. That's fine. Okay. I should get our construction spiders to go get some repair packs as well. Alright. Now they can just repair all this stuff in one place later. Let's get rid of this, and this, and this, and this. Place some more solar panels over here. Uh, I wonder if we've just about already got to the point where I can and should go back. This is... I was going to say these two assembly machines uh, with the beacon a super overkill for this set of uh, delivery cannons, but we haven't yet seen what kind of rate we're going to get. Well, let's say we're getting slightly less than a yellow belt. I, I think this is enough cannons. I like to preserve the little islands of biter colonies from my amusement. Bit different when you need to eradicate them for UPS. Though. Yeah, well, I think the little small ones aren't going to make that much of a difference. But something like this, for example. Uh, this may be enough to have at least some small impact. Especially when, I mean, it's it's sort of, it takes a critical mass to drop below 60 UPS, right? And once you do drop below that, um, it gets a little bit ugly. Uh, we can get, oh. That's a lot of core fragments. Um, why don't I temporarily... Melt this away. Um, just like this. Oh, that's one way to automate getting this done. Yeah, calculated. Right, up here. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, one downside of the pile drivers with their auto targeting. Oh, what, what has happened here? Eight thousand iridium plate. We've got forty-eight times forty. Wait, what? Oh, times four. 
7,680. So that was my mistake. Um, what's a cargo wagon come to? 40 times... 40 times 4? 6,400. Uh, I'll set this to 7,000. Should be enough to make sure it doesn't end up full or blocking the train. Okay. We need girders here, so this isn't going to sort itself out. We'll send this back to the depot. Last time I saw a streamer preserve a small worm in his base and build luxury facility around. <laughs> Wasn't someone... Didn't someone do that and name the worm Mucky? Or was it Mucky who did that? I feel like they named it Mucky. Okay. We're waiting on girders to see this stuff work, so we'll go somewhere else for the moment. Um, so that'll drain all of those. I don't mind uh, this setup that I had. Just having totally different train stations for each output uh, is definitely... It's simple, and also there's a ton of storage space for each unit. It just takes up a bit more space than it otherwise would. Uh, yeah, definitely a layout I would recommend. Let's turn all this around. Oops. There you go. Why are you taking so long? There we go. Alright. Uh, let's pick up this old stuff. I'll connect this power over here so that we don't have to worry about what we're disconnecting. of Ribbon World series where he keeps the names of when <laughs> being a Ribbon World he has to pass it on a regular basis. <laughs> nice. Okay. Spooters, head down this way, please. Still not getting close to running out of, uh, Solar panels and stuff. And accumulators, rather. Let's add a couple... Can I get this muscle memory right? There we go. Almost. Uh, let's add a couple more layers here. And I should have kept that... That one deconstruction planner, although it is very easy to make again. Lucked out on the substations? Absolutely. I mean, I knew already that there was a ton of stuff that I left here. Because I knew it would be easier. Like, especially if I came back to build stuff here later on. But even so... Okay. It's kind of cathartic, uh, cleaning up old builds. I can move that. We do have a bunch of iron here. This would be a lot more exciting if... 
It was not that long ago when we were having trouble with iron on Nalvis, before we took a whole lot of territory to solve that problem. Um, but yeah, I'm not really looking too hard for a way to send this back at the moment. Although, we are right next to a factory that's making excess delivery cannon capsules. It would be pretty trivial, actually, to set up some smelting right here, uh, and send the iron back. I think on Nalvis we still have... Yeah, we've got a train station with a delivery cannon chest dedicated to that. So why don't we do that as well? It's only like 1.5 million after productivity mod No, probably more than that, since... Oh, this doesn't even use productivity modules. Wow, this is old school. No modules whatsoever. This takes me back. Alright, well, I guess uh, step one would be... to remove... Uh, how many prods have I got? Almost 200. We need 5 times 64. 320 is significantly more. There's... 419... I think those are prod 1s or something? No. They're prod 3s. If I don't mind it being slow, I could just prod these up as they are, but... Um... Hmm. It wouldn't be that slow. Many used up mines? Uh... Not that many. Chat, is there a mod that could help me find what my review was? Preview? Factorio Tightrope. Oh, is that the name of the playlist? The map gen. Oh, you mean like get the seed? I think, um... Map exchange string? Is that what you're thinking of? Let me just double check this real quick. ENP one six nine Q. Now that should it shouldn't matter which map I'm on right now, right? If we look at the uh if we look at the save. Yeah. So if anyone wants to play this particular uh this particular seed. That's it right there. Reached character limit. Rip. Now I can't exactly paste it in chat, but if you do a quick screenshot, that'll do it for you. Okay. We can always power manage these if we need to as well. So why don't we use uh, the usual beacon layout. Also, let's get some of this crap out of our uh, inventory. And spooters, do your thing. I should really, uh, there we go. We're not running into water there, are we? Yeah, we are. 
find film. Did you start on default settings? There doesn't seem to be anywhere near enough iron on default settings. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I think the... Uh, I think the default settings for resources, etc., for space exploration are needlessly scarce. And from what I understand, it only affects Nalvis. Um, so I would definitely recommend tweaking that a little bit. Uh, how are we doing for that? Taking our sweet time getting the accumulated charge. Oh, wait. This one's actually full, isn't it? I think what I will do just temporarily is stop all of these belts until we actually reach 100 accumulated charge. Um. Because it's only reading this one individual accumulator, which, after everything settles, that would be a perfect representative of the accumulator charge in the network. But as it is now, there's a bit of empty space. When I get to SE, I'll be cranking them up. Also, I'm not above saving at the start of a game. Going into editor and scanning around before deciding to reload and play. I mean, it's your time. Yeah, if you're having fun with it, you're playing it right, is how I would put it. Okay. Uh, let's check on Nalvis, military spiders and so on. I was scared for a second there, but no, these ones are still moving. Oh, wow. That's actually... No, that's right. I remember doing this. Okay, and these guys are just fine. They are down to, like, 60-something percent rockets. We obviously don't want them to try taking on bases like this without rockets. That would be a little reckless. Um, which way should I go? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's let them back up and recharge their shields for a second there. And that's about time to... That's sort of the wrong way. Maybe they'll find a expansion. Okay, and group one, they are, they've still got like seven eighths of their ammo. Let's get them to go this way. Do the zigzag dance. Recharge a bit. Do not underestimate the biters here. And after that, we'll see how much ammo they have left. Plague Rocket isn't that a thing. I think it's extremely high-tech, but also 
Uh, it makes it so I would need life support on Nalvis as well. Significant biomass, extended biological catalog, I don't recognize. Um, and this is just to use with the weapon delivery system. Just preview to see how to expand my base. Expanding for more resources is part of the fun. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to s roll this, but it keeps popping. Hey, Mad Bike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Playing with infinite resources mod and manually limiting myself to mining only one patch for every resource. Fair enough. Plague Rocket is not a thing yet, indeed. Alright, we've finished. Oh, uh, we also need an umbrella. Uh, I think just so we know where everything is, I'll put the umbrella up close to all of this other important stuff. One of the nice things about just using belt conditions for power management for the drills is we don't have to... I'll put this over here though. Um, we don't have to worry about, you know, which power poles are going to be connected. Okay. Continue with the solar panels, please. I hate replacing mines, or more precisely, I don't have enough time to play to waste, waste it on that activity. Yeah, uh, it would be more interesting if, for example, you could set up some kind of, like, algorithm to build the mine for you. Um, I forget the name of the mod, I think someone mentioned it earlier today. Uh, recursive blueprints or something. Uh, you might be able to do something like that. Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen it or done it myself. But yeah, like, you know, building a mine is not terribly interesting. You sort of lay everything out, figure out how the belts are going to fit together. Uh, it's a cutter that we've all mastered already. <laughs> and there's not it's not the most interesting problem to solve. Recursive blueprints, yeah. So, has anyone used recursive blueprints? Does, do you know what's possible with it? I'll let the bots pick these up first so I have a better idea of... Actually, I think I've figured it out. Maybe like this? I still don't have a whole lot of bots, so this is a little bit slow. Did we not place the landfill? Do we not have landfill in these spiders? Okay, let's get that sorted. Actually, we'll do the solar panels up here first. Keep them going until they run out of inventory space. Rain9441 uses an interesting system using bots and rail in his 100% speedruns to make outpost setups not too painful. I remember making a blueprint that was like... I think I had to use a, a editor just to be able to make the blueprint, because it won't let you put down a ghost of a mine. But it was basically like... Um, something like 12 by 12 mines. Or like... Maybe it was like a hundred by a hundred mines, something ridiculous like that. Just a giant uh, 
blueprint of miners so that you could plunk the whole thing down and it had a rail output and everything as long as you had room for it it was a one click job oh here it is yeah 576 uh vanilla mines uh that's one way to do it obviously it gets a bit awkward trying to find room for these things but it'll get the job done you can tell by the layout of the rail that i was using one-way trains when i made this blueprint Oh, this is really taking my bots a lot longer than I would have thought. Uh, I've, I've become accustomed, uh, accustomed to having a hundred of them. But also they have to pick up all of this iron. Let's give him a hand. The add-on designer lab could be helpful. Add-on designer lab. I haven't tried recursive blueprints myself, but really impressed by some videos out there using the mod. Especially micro bases. Yeah, I've seen like a... Uh, I think it was about as small as a base that you could get that would build like... Uh, the throughput wouldn't be great, but it'd give you like all the basics to get... It, it basically a mall, I suppose. All right, we're finally placing all of the mines. Fantastic. This is supposed to be just a quick little diversion because why not? Okay. Spiders are running out of things to place, it seems like. Not really. Maybe accumulators. And let's go get this out of my inventory for now. I didn't place those belts backward, did I? No, oh, we're good. Oh, I should pick up some productivity modules as well. Modules. Take the big electrics as well. Belt. Actually, I should do a bit more of this giving the bots with a hand. It, giving the bots with a hand? What? Giving the bots a hand with things that I can do thousands and thousands of with one click. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to get rid of the big electrics. The bots already got it. Okay. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Why don't I just do this? And then stand next to the storage chests. Cannot insert, cannot insert, cannot insert. My inventory does indeed appear to be full.
The add-on designer lab. Oh, the mod. Okay. So what is the add-on designer lab? Oops. Hope I didn't click on anything random and bad there. Alright. Let's head back this way. That was surprisingly... Oh. Oh, I haven't got a limit on Express Belt. Whoops. Designer Lab. I'm gonna have a look real quick. Factorial Designer Lab. The Blueprint Designer Lab? Oh, I see. Enter your lab to design your blueprint. Oh, I think I saw... Was it Exterminator? Uh, a long time ago. Uh, made like a... Very early version of this. Troopin has a great video about it. If you want to see it in action. Nice. So you basically... It's a way to enter Blueprints Lab so you have a test bench for your Blueprints. And you can do this like in the middle of a normal game, right? Yeah, I like that. Alright, we're missing more than a few beacons here, actually. I may have forgotten about that. I only brought ten. And back when I brought all this stuff here... I wasn't using beacons because we just weren't at that scale of power yet. Bots are still in motion here. Just a few of them. Okay. Um, can I make some beacons? I can make six easily. We're going to run out of small electric. Advanced circuits. I think we've got like a million of lying around here. Yeah, oh, 3.7k is not that much, but could be worse. Uh, so, what if we just quickly... Uh, throw one of these together. Actually, I've got a better idea. Uh, why don't we use one of these? And as long as we don't care about the productivity modules too much, it'll be fine to do it this... Uh, I could have one of these that uses prods. Just have to... What the... Oh, I see. Just have to watch that we don't switch it to a recipe that can't use prods, otherwise it'll shove the prods in here. Um, okay, so we want small electric motor. We also need a recipe combinator to get this working. There we go. And what else? Iron gear wheel. Um, apparently, wait, what? What? No splitter. I forgot to add this little patch right here. We do not want stuff that the bots are picking up that spits out a negative signal from this to mess with our recipe settings. Uh, so this is multiplied by negative one what's in the logistic network. And since I'm doing this after that, we go each less than zero. And on this side, we have positive numbers for what things we want this to build. 
Okay. So far, so good. The Iron Gear Wheel comes before the uh, electric motor. We also want some copper cable. I wonder if that will also come before... It looks like it does. So, so far, the arbitrary order of signals is on our side for the prerequisites to do all this with just one machine. A beacon might be a good idea. Oh, that's what I was working towards. Uh, beacon... Concrete, steel, advanced circuit... Um, I'm not going to worry about the concrete. That's... We've got some lying around, I think. Also, we need water for that. Here it is. We need stone brick added to this. Uh, we can do that. And that can be a passive provider. Right then. Um, beacon. Oh, here's our first problem. Beacon is a higher priority in the signal list. Which... You would think the arbitrary order that it lists signals, where it says input signals, would be the order, but apparently that's not how that works. Okay. Spaceboat? Where's the environmentalist? Uh, I am confused, but welcome, welcome. Solby Lee, hope you're doing well. A bit like using slash editor, a bit in an empty checkerboard area. Yep. Um, anyway, let's just leave that running for a bit before we ask for some beacons. Um... I probably didn't have to go for 200 copper cable, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Um, we've got some furnaces. Beacon. Underground belts. And... Fortunately, we can use the exact same... That's not going to reach, is it? But we can use the exact same signal wire for this. Oh, this is already empty? No, it just doesn't have power. Okay. Power pole. Can I take a bunch of this? Not that much. Get in there. Stack inserter would help get rid of this bit faster. Also, if we do this... Uh, that sort of helps. You would think it would put onto opposite sides of the belt like this, but it doesn't. chest. 
because I want to put these in a neat little row. I'm going to use the same settings, except this says iron plate. And that comes from our signal transmitter here for all of these delivery cannon chests. And I think four of these will be more than enough. And then, uh, whoops, this is already a lot of I have an extra 76 delivery cannon capsules in my inventory. Let's see what I can do about that. Good. Okay. We've already sent, I feel like, quite a few... Uh... Four fragments back. 7.2k, not that much yet, but still. By the time we get back to do something with it, um, there's going to be a train load or two. Actually, the, that extra cannon is going to be up here, isn't it? So let's bring this down here. And uh, I guess this can point where we want it to, as long as it doesn't have power. Naturally, this will be iron plate rod. We could probably do a couple of these. It's fine. Output goes... Wait, what? Output goes here. And then... Just merge all this together. I have a corner version of this uh, board of four. Oh, except this one won't let us squeeze this on, on the side. So let's just use the straight one. Uh, mine is in an inconvenient location. How about you? Go here. Not like that. Damn it. There we go. And then... That should be fun. Do we even need... Uh, it's... whatever. This one can go here. This one goes here. That should actually... Oh. Okay. 
And now this will not put just to the one dot. Uh, not like that. Actually, let's do it underground. There we go. Alright, cool. Inserters. That's not right. Substations. Go here. Fantastic. And our belt is empty. Perfect. Good timing. One more of these here. This goes down here. And that stays where it is. Right then. How are we doing for our prerequisites? We're still on copper cable, really. 15 to go. to... Oh wow, the copper cable that was in the machine already just stays in there when it switches over the recipe. Uh, unfortunately, until I figure out some sort of latching behavior whereby we go significantly past our target, um, or we have like a threshold before it triggers, uh, it's going to switch over to making the small electric motors and then it's going to say, oh, wait, we don't have enough copper cable, actually. Got to go. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Whiskers. Take care. Catch you all later, guys. Have a good one, Whiskers. All right. Do we actually have any... We still haven't made any electric motors here. Uh, maybe I should have put a beacon down. <laughs> maybe. Just possibly. Okay. Uh, let's copy paste one of these just to save a few clicks and stuff. Where did my beacon go? Oh, we're still crafting it. And there we go. Fantastic. Much better. Uh, we're making 150 megawatts almost. That is only enough to keep two core mining drills going. Really. We do have some more solar panels, though. 110 in this one alone. Uh, actually, it seems like that's the only one that still has solar panels. Still, 110 times 389. Uh, 42.7 megawatts. Well, that's not nothing, but... With the volume of solar panels that I brought... I shouldn't have expected to have run anywhere near this many core mining drills. 
But it's fine. It's all power managed. It'll sort itself out. Also, uh, since I think we've placed all of our accumulators, I can go ahead and allow that to go. Alright. I also need some landfill. I could probably have it built here. I wonder how... I wonder what the order is. Like how... Landfill is apparently... Oh. There goes our... Modules in the... Module chest. Uh, what happens if I remove this? Oh, it puts them back. Oh, I like that a lot. I should start using that. I remember quite a while ago when we used this mod, there was a problem whereby it would start making an infinite number of productivity modules jam uh, jammed into the module chest. Uh, which would be a bit tempting to take advantage of. But now that, now that that works, uh, that's very cool. Anyway, um, better if we just set up a, a little something. Where is it? About here. And fill. Don't need much. In fact, do I have some? I usually carry a hundred landfill, I thought. Landfill. Uh, where's the request for it? Don't tell me the request got moved somehow. If I can put it here... It is! It's gone. Okay, where does the landfill request usually go? Just after concrete? Hmm. That's a bit odd. Okay, back to carrying one stack of landfill. As a standard. We don't have any stone though. I'm sure we can find some. Also, there's a... Oh. Not as much of it as I thought up here. Still. Really should just be getting rid of all this. Uh, I don't want to make too many bot jobs all at once. Okay. Let's shove you in here. Landfill. Less than... Stack. Uh, we're still making cogs, apparently. Can we make one of these yet? We... And... Not. Almost. Alright. Scooters... Let's do that. Filter again. Do not delete this stuff. I don't particularly like leaving these rocks sitting around on top of the uh, on top of the rail system. Rail system. On top of the solar panels.
get the spiders to bring a bunch of this stuff back. Reminds me, I should be checking on some other spiders. Should have checked on them a long time ago, actually. These guys are doing just fine. And these guys are resupplied. Let's get them back to it. So, should be able to handle all of that on one set of ammo relatively easily. And as for you, uh, head over this way please. That's a thick base. Alright. Uh, one more and then I'll have them resupply. There's a little base, or just a worm there. And I think I will have them go back once they're done. Oh, I already did this with this group. No, I didn't. Okay. Meanwhile, on Rose... The shelling continues. Don't really feel the need to have the spiders do anything there. It will take a while, but I can clear this planet with a hands-off approach at this point. With the pile drivers. That are actually... A couple of them are getting ready to fire right now, actually. Fantastic. Oh wow. This... This spider is on 200 out of 3000 health. And it's gonna take at least one pile driver wasted just to finish that off. Unless I send the laser spider. There's a bunch of them really low down here. Okay, that is the job of the laser spiders. Um, and maybe to find some expansions. Oh, never mind. Well, there's still these guys down here. Just gotta make sure I don't send them at anything too big. It's really just worms that are dangerous. Okay, that'll do for one trip. Do not want to be particularly risky with these. Do biters respawn if they're all wiped out? Uh, no. Except on... I think every planet that gives us a Vitamelange, um, there will be biter meteors. Uh, so if you fail to shoot down a meteor, it will spawn Biter Nest. Or two, I don't know. Um, it's not just the planets with Vita Melange. We have that to deal with on Tullabai as well. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, I believe if you wipe them all out, you won't be seeing them again. Although I still have no explanation as to where the massively oversized biters um, that tore up our very old now uh, uh, Omni Smelters over here. Uh, still don't know where they came from or what their deal is. Which spider is the leader? Don't actually know. Probably this one. There we go. Can you go back to empty your chests? I should make more of these spiders so that they can do a lot more in one trip. Make it a lot more fire and forget. Oh, did we finish making our things? Fantastic. And concrete. Why is concrete not on the way yet? This didn't get done, even though it is in the Robo Network. Oh, I'm the only one with the colorful chests. Okay. Uh, I think this is supposed to go here, actually. Let's get rid of all this for now. Oh, there's even more stuff in here. Okay. And a giant rock. Uh, I think we can... No, we can't. We can speed it up, though. Right, so that'll finally get us some beacons. I just can't help but want to tidy all this stuff up. Right then. We've also got a bunch of scrap. Don't really feel like dealing with that just yet. Um, spiders. Go pick that up. Prefer to leave it for decoration. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if it's the prettiest of all decorations. How many uh, solar panels is this? 1.9k, yeah, that's all of them. Oh, and how many accumulators was it? 11k. Yeah, so that's about right. Um, we do lose a few when we send the rocket, but it looks like we've finished placing them for now. Actually, I don't know if the bots will keep up with the spiders doing this. Just feels dull when your base is too neat. Oh, I never have that problem. Well, parts of my base are neat. Other parts are a bit spaghettified. I always find it interesting when I see someone's base that's like... 
Kind of reminds me of the Factorio trailer a little bit. Um, I almost would have thought that would only happen if it's sort of deliberate. But it's kind of... I don't know how to describe it. It's, a lot of, it's sort of a semi-neat mess. Um, let's bring the scooters back already. Back to the Robo Network. And so we've actually placed all of our solar panels. We've got our power managed uh, core mining drills. Except I think we've got far too many drills for how much power we have. And even though it's power managed, we're still like losing speed just by having some of these placed. So let's see. Solar panels, uh, like the day-night cycle is going to throw this off a bit, but uh, I should have checked like two minutes ago. I would love to see how fast we're producing, well, okay, one minute ago to 3.5 minutes ago. Oil, or fragment, oil. Rag. Crude oil, there we go. Uh, here it is. We're looking at about 800 per minute. That's when the sun is up. Uh, 800 over 60 is 13.3. That's interesting. That's more than I thought. Um... How much power do we have? 98... Okay, this is night time, though. Uh... 546-ish megawatts. Oh. I actually thought we would have to remove, like, maybe half of the core mining drills to get the most out of this. Until we add more power. Uh, because each one you add reduces the efficiency of all of them, even if it's not active. But this is actually pretty close to... Uh, like, if we had infinite power, this would be producing 14.4 per minute. And we're looking at, like, 1 per... Per second, sorry. Uh, and we're looking at, like, 1 per second less than that when the sun is up. So yeah, I don't really feel the need to change that. I could remove one or two, it would probably make it faster overall, maybe. It's close enough that I'm not going to bother. So this is already fine. Um, we're going to add a substation down here. And let me just remove this for now. So we get that targeting information. Move it over to iron plate. Uh, change the recipe to delivery can capsule iron plate. Make sure the condition on this one is iron plate greater than zero. And that's it. So we're going to get like about one and a half million iron plate from Moors. Um, quite slowly, but we will get it. Oh, and we already got a few beacons from that setup. Nice. Because your setting is accumulator set at 100%. Uh, it does matter because, okay, so if I place down another core mining drill, even if it's not powered, even if it's like away from any belts or anything, uh, it'll actually lower the efficiency of all of these. So if I have one core mining drill that I'm actually using and a hundred core mining drills over here, we're going to get like, I don't know, a hundredth of a percent of the normal speed out of that one drill. 
Um, so if I have like, for example, 10 core mining drills, but I have just little enough power that we need to be turning these on and off during the day, um, it would actually, it would actually get me more core fragments overall if I remove, I don't know exactly how many drills. But this is already pretty close. Um, so what happens down here? We've run out of small electric motors again. I shudder to think how many combinators it would take, but I probably could make a bunch of dependencies in this part of the circuit to make sure if we're running, if we want to make beacons, for example, and we're running lower on small electric motors, we prioritize the intermediate products. The variant is how fast your accumulator charge to full. Uh, yes. Yeah, that is one part of it, absolutely. If you can keep the accumulators full while the core mining drills are running, uh, especially if you can do it 24-7, then you are bottlenecked on the actual core mining drills. As soon as you're bottlenecked on power, um, it gets a little bit complicated trying to guess exactly how many drills is optimal. Okay. So... I ran out of speed modules. Do we have any back here? Twelve? I was expecting zero or a three-digit number. I was not expecting 12 speed modules. Uh, I will admit that. Do these guys have any speed modules? Uh, I see some prods. Really? I don't think, uh, judging by the flow of iron here, we particularly need all of these beacons, actually. I wonder what the holdup is. Uh, looks like... Oh wow, that is a great sign. Oh my goodness. Iron plate in this station is full. That is... That is an excellent sign. Um... I should probably bump up the priority on some of these, because I think back when we were trying to build these things to be self-sufficient, uh, here, for example, we're backing up on iron, although I did make it so that we're using steel to get rid of iron, so maybe that doesn't matter? Hey, C for Cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Uh, yeah, I think we'll add this back here because iron is getting frighteningly backed up. A hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, I won't bother fixing this for now. Spiders are confused. I can't remember why I was sending them up there anyway. We'll just leave them hanging out next to the important stuff, I guess. But yeah, uh, beacons for this little mine are obviously going to be a bit overkill. 
the more power we save from other things, the more we have for the coal mining. Now then. Um, should I leave these belts here? In fact, why don't I just empty my inventory of most things? Oh, should have turned this off first. The construction bots can stay here as well. Okay, so if there's anything that we want to build here later on, uh, hopefully they'll already have it, what we need handy. Minor detail, I have not yet done what I need to do. to get back to Nalvis. I would have thought we'd have a lot more... Oh, the cargo landing pad probably gives you a lot more cargo rocket sections back when you use that, doesn't it? Okay. Should we empty this cargo landing pad and have some sent to us, along with other things? Or should we... Should we just try and make some? How many do, do we need? Uh... 76 cargo rocket sections. What does it take? Four heat shielding is 304. Um, I don't know how much that we've got. I'm already thinking it's going to be easier just to send a rocket. Let's do it. We're still trying to empty this thing though. Um, why don't we just... Speed that up a bit. And give the bots a few more jobs. Okay. There's an awful lot of... Random junk. Ish. Oh, there's also more logistic bots here. Okay, uh, let's figure out what we're sending. Uh, we're not sending that many solar panels again. I could send a few. We're actually really, really close to having enough to never slow down with this. Why don't I send, like, a quarter of what we sent last time? And... What else are we sending? Cargo rockets? Uh, packed cargo rocket sections. I think we have some here already. We're receiving those from... I guess there's no need to pack them. We're not going to come close to filling this rocket. But yeah, cargo rocket sections are being delivered here. Not going to bother with packing them. We're just not going to have that many in this robo network, I hope. Oh. How many... Where's our other group of spiders? 
they are doing well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can overproduce things like this so easily now. I think it's easier to just send more than we need. Uh, but I want to make sure this is emptied down to where it's supposed to be first. So that we have a nice, neat layout. Almost there. Actually, I wonder what will happen if I do this. Uh, we need like 76, was it? Yeah, let's just go 200. Hey, Emma. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Still going strong, I see. Uh, yeah, sort of. Zavoxifor, good to see you again also. Need a sort button? Yeah, that's, uh... It does slow down the loading a little bit, but that's why I set it up to use this decider combinator right here. Anything greater than zero output anything. Uh, it'll take a set of signals and just input one of them. Not that we can see that happening right now. Wait. Why not? Why can't we? Oh, we already loaded this. Wow, that was fast. Wow. Okay. Okay, let me let me demonstrate. <laughs> uh let's say we want to send cargo rocket sections and also what was the other thing I wished we had here? Construction bots would be nice. Um, let's just send like 500. Construction bot 500. It is going to take that insert a, a while to drop 10,000 accumulators down to 3,000. I could just allow it to send extra. Yeah, that seems easier at this point. Okay, so we turn this on. Uh, we've got two positive signals coming in? No, it never got around to unloading any of those cargo rocket sections. Well, never mind. Uh, but the point is, we did set up a system here to only load one thing at a time, so that we get a nice, neat, um, a nice, neat load for the cargo rocket. Also, what about fuel? We've already got the fuel. Okay. It's aimed at Nalvis landing pad. Let's make it... Uh... Wait, what? Hold on. I thought we put a landing pad here. I changed it to Nalvis flat solar panel. Okay. Uh, why don't we just call this Nalvis... Wall. And I might just have to double check this one. That just changed to general vicinity. Okay. But wait, I don't think I set it up properly. Oh, okay. It puts flat solar panels here and everything else in the robo network. That's fine. All right. So now this small. Still got enough fuel. Fantastic. I kind of forgot where the fuel was coming from and was afraid that we just didn't have it. Um. Cool. What is all of this spaghetti? Uh, 
I've seen worse, I guess. At least that's what I'll tell myself. Uh, I can speed this up. There we go. And the bots will have a much shorter trip if I do this. Oh, that's actually full. And so is that. Right then. Is there anything I want to take back with me? I could take the cryonite. That'd make a lot of sense. I probably shouldn't have put it in purple chests. Uh, probably shouldn't have got rid of my colored chests either. Oh, here we go. Cryonite. On the other hand, we've already got everything set up here to give us cryonite. And it's totally saturated, so it's not like that would be doing us any favors. Um, no, I don't think there's anything... I want to set up a... There's an Iridium mine here. 1.1 million. We can do the same thing as we did for iron. I'm pretty sure I've got more delivery cannons still. Um... This. Where are my construction spiders? Substation is slightly annoying, but figure it out. Or I could just have this belt go a bit further, that might be a bit neater. I do already have a test here for iridite. Yes, good. Okay. Let's go grab our cannons. Uh, I forgot where I was going. I don't remember where my cannons went. There we go. Uh, okay, fine. Personal logistics, go. Although it seems all the robots are a little busy. Uh, that actually might cover everything I need. Okay, so we're gonna do... This connects up here. Same setting, only different. Iridite greater than zero. From the transmitter. Uh, I have no robots. There we go. Copy the setting. Change the target just a little bit. Change the recipe to Iridite. Fantastic. And then we just shove a mine down here. And that's. Oh, we need sulfuric acid. I almost forgot. That is going to be a little bit of a pain, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, let's send our spooters. Actually, I'll ride the speeder. I think we need to pick up a beacon or four as well. Uh, 
Bumps goes here. Here. Where are we going? Grab set view. Forget the corners. Do those miners require sulfuric acid? Yes, indeed. That's why they are a slight nuisance. Uh, apparently we don't have the beacons already, actually. Um, let's power this up. This one is beaconed and powered. Uh, we have 16 of these. That'll give us only 10.2 per second. Uh, we do have a bunch of sulfuric acid over here already that I didn't delete, but I got rid of the rail connection too. Hmm. I think it would be a little bit easier to just produce some down here like we were already doing. Although this place has been a bit messed up. Let's turn our personal robo requests back on. Today I learned there is a deconstruct filter for item on ground. Yes indeed. Very useful. You need sulfuric acid to mine iridite just like uranium? Yes, indeed. Alright. Oh, we actually finished making all of the... No, we didn't. Let's see the chest. Apparently we have zero of... No, we're fine. There's just too much logistic bot activity. Oh, wow. That is a full spider. Okay, how is the loading of this rocket going? Uh, looks like it's finished. We've got enough cargo rocket sections to bring us home, a bunch of construction bots, more solar panels and stuff. Uh, I want to help empty this. Uh, I'll leave that as it is for now. Bring the construction spiders down here. Yeah, this. Oh wow, there's no modules or anything here. It's so old, I almost feel nostalgic. Uh, here's our sulfuric acid. I guess we could use a train. They're not going to get destroyed by uh, medias anymore, so that's nice. I probably should stop requesting all of this uh, stone and iron and copper and stuff for now. Okay. This is LTM. Stop is depot. The depot. Oh, I see. This is rocket fuel. Yeah, this is the depot. And the sulfuric acid pickup is here. Uh, it's actually got no combinator because this is back when default settings would 
make that work at least a little bit. Uh, standard pickup station. Station name should be Sulfuric Acid Provider. Um, why haven't I not? Why have I not built that yet? There we go. All right. And then why is this not powered? Because we're missing a sig single medium pole. Wait, that's probably... Wait, what is this station? Depot. So we had two trains. Um, okay. This can be reduced by one tile as well, since the, or maybe two tiles, since the light oil can go, no it's one tile, light oil can go directly down to here, and heavy oil, well, I guess heavy oil doesn't need the side to side connection either. These are out of place, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That was actually just the one. It goes there. And obviously enough, this goes here. Seems like we've got everything else we need. Uh, we do need some iron plate, which I only had, um, I was only putting in here manually back when we were here. Also, that needs a connection. Alright, can we do... I should do some small trains. Well, it's not too late. Let's do a couple of small trains. Alright. Depot. Doesn't say anything about train size, does it? It does. see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why have I not placed this one? Oh, the construction spiders don't have combinators. Alright. That's sulfuric acid pickup. This is depot. Um, and... This is also depot. We need some power down here. And I need a spot for another small train to squeeze through to deliver the iron plate. This is also a depot? Um, except you're a short train, you're not allowed here. 
I guess it doesn't apply to, um, to depots, maybe. Okay. We need... Uh, I guess we can move these signals. Have a bit of rail come up here. Not quite there. Hunting the pixel where I can move the rail this way. And then a train stop goes here. Ish. Can we do it like this? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be iron plate requester. And this is what's what's here. We need a standard drop off. How much fits in 40 stacks? 4,000. Make it a bit more. Okay. Now we just need the uh, signaling. I suppose the signaling wouldn't matter that much here, but I'm going to do it right anyway. Oh. Uh, I guess that's fine. I learned recently by mistake, by by accident, that if you have a chain signal um, going into a spot where there's just one uh, sector, it'll work just as well as a regular rail signal. Um, basically, if there's no ex if there's no sector for it to move beyond after this one. It, it won't behave like a chain signal, because there's no way for it to do that. Alright, so one train can be in this entire area at any given time. That should be fine. Next, we just need to make a pickup station for the iron plate. Which... Come to think of it, we could take advantage of this faster iron production we've got up here, but... Or I could take the sulfuric... Why do we have no power? Oh. Let's fix that first. I hope we didn't have any meteors get through in the meantime. That didn't just happen, did it? No, I don't think so. That gap in fuel belt is intended? Uh, no. No, this place has been battered and bruised over a long time. Okay. Uh, on this side, stack inserters are unconditional, and that'll do. Now, once again, we're charging our new defense installations. Where's the easiest place to put? Pick up the iron plate. Could just do it right here. So 
So we're going to do a request a chest. Uh, do it here where it's more visible what we're doing. Iron plate. How much do we have? Only 720. What? Uh, yeah, there's. I should get the iron from up here, actually. Hmm, how are we gonna get the rail there? It might not actually be that hard. Spaghetti rail. Stop. Um, I need to get it all the way down here, though. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's fine. Not difficult. Add a chest. Seem to have run out of regular chests. Alright, so we do a standard pickup. Like so. We use wire to tell LTN what's in this chest. Unfortunately, it can't reach, so I'll piggyback it off of here. And red wire. Go. Red wire goes here. Uh, provide threshold forty. Iron plate pickup. And that goes there. Actually, let me prioritize this spot. So once that chest is mostly full, um, we should see... When's that going to take? It's going to take a moment. Hmm. Bottlenecked on that stack inserter. I mean, overall, this will be fine. Uh, let's just temporarily do a stack threshold of one, just to make sure this is working. So within the next 5 to 15 seconds or so, we should see this light go yellow, if everything's set up correctly. We will need to make sure pathing is done. Alright then. Still nothing. Do we have our small train? Oh! Where are you? Wait, where are you taking that? Oh. That makes sense, I guess. Um. But just for now, let's not. And. Let's turn all of these off until further notice. Okay. I could have used a vanilla train. I actually only want this train doing one thing. Uh, 
and train length on provider station is set to six. Oh, thank you. Good call. Right then. Give it a few seconds. And it's picking up iron ore. I thought I turned that off. That's a different station. Rep. Also, why is... The provide threshold is 8k, which is a full four-length cargo train. But a small train is trying to... Is coming to pick up 2,000. Um, curious about that. Let's see. Request stack threshold 160. Yeah, that shouldn't have... Shouldn't have done that. Well, I guess the threshold is how much it takes to trigger a delivery, not how big the delivery can be. Okay. At this rate, we're going to have 4,000 by the time the train actually schedules. Just how much needs to be there before it can be picked up. Yeah. Provide threshold doesn't mean it has to pick up that amount. Alright then. And go. And go. What do we got here? Provide stack threshold 1, train length 3, combinator is turned on. We have 1.7k iron plate. Read contents. Um. Yep, oh, is this it? No? <laughs> Where is it going now? To another station that I forgot to turn off. Okay, let's, uh. Let's go make sure all of them are switched off. This one doesn't have a. Combinator, that should be fine. Thank you for the follow, my cow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Again? I just turned that combinator off. There should be... How? Well, it's... On the plus side, it's getting iron. Provide stack threshold 160. I turned that off. The default is like a million. Provide threshold a million. I guess the request threshold is more important than the provide threshold. So because I turned this off, that the default provide threshold, it's set to a million, but the request threshold here is just one stack um, for now. Obviously, uh, this isn't going to hold up in the long run. Yeah, I'll just wait till this fills up and delete this station. I should have just deleted the other stations. That would have been a lot simpler. Okay. Get. Gone. No more random train scheduling, please. Sneaky LTN. <laughs> well, it's not going to... If, if there's some other bug with it, it's not going to be a problem that we can't fix remotely. Especially with the Spidertrons and Roboports here. 
Uh, so, there's our sulfuric acid. It's gonna take a while. Uh, but it will be... It doesn't take much sulfuric acid for each. It's like one per operation, right? 0 0.1 per mining operation. So... Uh, 250,000. Ignoring the productivity bonus, 250,000. Um, erudite, once that gets delivered. I haven't actually set up the drop-off for the sulfuric acid yet. Um, we could use this little spot here. It's already got some signals and stuff. Pumps. And of course, neither of these would line up just right. One tile off. Oh, we need some, uh, we need some pipe here as well. That doesn't look quite right. You know what? Let me just... Okay. Alright, I need to place that manually because for some reason I have no bots. Sulfuric acid quester. Wiring goes here and here. Power. Finally do it. Finally, finally. Oh, uh, we need to set a request for a bit more than a train load. Because it'll never completely empty. And over here we have Still nothing but fumes of sulfuric acid. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere? We're missing a couple of pipes right here. Okay. What? What just... Huh? I dropped the remote. How did I do that? That probably explains where that other remote went a long time ago. Okay. What button do I even... X? I don't think I pressed X. Okay. Sulfuric acid... Also... Change the... Request thresholds here back. So, if the provide threshold is low and the request threshold is higher, the request threshold is more important, right? Sort of. And finally, there's our sulfuric acid. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, we should have more than enough time to have loaded our rocket. I think we'd already done that a while ago. Is there anything else that I want to send to Mars? On this trip. Uh... 
Well, I could flick through everything here real quick. Don't think so. No, uh, I think we're fine. Alright. Moore's landing pad. Is that empty? It is empty. Fantastic. Uh, so let's do it. Launch. Let's turn this stuff off so it doesn't load up prematurely for next time. And here comes our stuff. Let's remove this for the moment. Um, it is fine to put all of that into the robo network, but I think considering how busy they are for, them for now, I would rather just make sure this gets done immediately. Whoops. Six to go. Fantastic. Space capsule can stay here, I guess. In case I have occasion to use it. Everything else, shove it back into the robo network. And I guess we're ready to go back to the mall. Right after I dump this stuff. I'll take the fish. I'll leave this, this and this. And all of these. None of my personal logistics. Anything that is easy to get on Narvis and might be useful here uh, can stay. Wait, where did we get those extra... Uh, it's fine. Hey, Vinshady. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, t -hex and all. How are you doing? Been a while. Got my second son. So having downtime... He overtook me with SE progress. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, let's not send... Uh, let's not leave power armor or anything like that behind. Uh, but yeah, I think we are just about ready to go... Oh! Well, the spiders could have fixed that anyway, but still. Uh, wait, where are they going? Here. Okay. And we'll have them place a bunch more solar panels when everything cools down over here. I maybe... No, we're fine. I'll take the... I'll take those 77 delivery cannon capsules and put them back somewhere useful, though. Alright. 
it'll be nice to get that extra flow of uh, iridium as well. It is going to take a while to get enough sulfuric acid to get it started. It could trigger a... Provide stack threshold doesn't do anything with fluids. Default provide threshold is a million or something. Let's do this experiment again. Um, so if we set the request threshold to 1... And make sure the train length is short enough. So the provide threshold stack size doesn't do anything. The default is like a million. I'm pretty sure from what we saw earlier, this train is going to pick up sulfuric acid uh, quite soon. Oh, no, it's not, because this ha this train has to... Uh, this has to empty first. Okay. Uh, let me go fix that real quick. If I had any signals on me... I keep emptying my inventory, and then something like this happens. Where's the other signals? I could just steal these two. That'll work. Okay, so signal goes here and here. It wouldn't have stopped the LTN from scheduling the pickup though. And I hope. Oh, that, that's not going to work. Okay, I think this has to be a regular signal now. Even though it's sort of, uh... Normally that would be sacrilege, because I can't put a signal here. And the train has to be able to stop in this sector. Yeah. So why is LTN not scheduling sulfuric acid to come here? We're looking for 26,000, request threshold 1, short train. We have sulfuric acid here. Provide threshold 1. Oh, 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 train link, that's why. Let's change this back so we don't change two variables at once. Train link. Um, and I just realized that didn't have to be a long arm in oh yes it did yeah that needs to be a long arm that's fine so any second now we should see it would help if if it would help if this thing was set to automatic that would probably result in some kind of activity other than sitting stationary. Yeah. That would help. Presumably it'll still take a few seconds for this to trigger. A few more seconds? Even more seconds. Okay, so provide threshold one. This is connected, yes. 8.5k sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, 26k. Request threshold 1. Train length 3. I 
don't understand. Oh, how does... No, you've got roundabouts. You can... You can find your way back here. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Finally. Okay, so we know that's working. Uh, 25,000. And... 25,000. Media defense is working. Fantastic. We should see activity for making the ammo here. Oh, it's already caught up. Okay. Uh, that was probably because I manually inserted a bunch of ammo here to start with. But we can see this is already working. Okay. More importantly, I want to see that erudite flowing before I go. What was that noise? Cannot reach? Cannot reach what? Oop, that's rude. Fantastic. Alright. Shall we get going then? Uh, let's park our construction spiders in the robo network where they'll eventually get their inventories emptied and stuff. I should have brought more colored chests. I can get the uh, auto crafter to make some, but this uh, this would be good too. Oh, and it seems the spiders were carrying some also. Okay, so they're probably not going to run out of storage space anytime soon. Let's go back. Uh. Got about this. Let's leave these here. Also, the cryonite. Also, the. all of this. Just in case it might be useful. Okay. We don't need... I was going to say we don't need lasers, but they took them so quickly, I'm not going to pick them up again. And away... we... go. an oddly quiet rocket. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we are back at the new mall. And all of our spiders are standing ready for duty. Fantastic. Let's get them to keep pushing. I really should be making sure I do this a bit more often to counter the uh, the rate of expansion. But we're still going fast enough that we'll eventually get it done. Should probably give them a little break to recharge their shields. Group 2... Head over this way. 
actually head over here. I think some of that is in artillery range still. I could probably uh, soften them up a little bit. Let's have them park here after that. Let's see. Artillery. Oh, yep. Let's make it a little bit easier, shall we? It's mainly the worms that make it any trouble for the spiders, though. The biters and spawners almost don't do anything to them. Still. Right then. Uh, so the next step that I almost forgot we even have to do is to turn those core fragments into something useful. Let's start by copying this one, and we'll change it up a bit. Uh, I forgot to resupply and I have no bots. Although, some of our construction bots are lending a hand already. I don't think I've got any pulverizers set to be built here yet. Uh, so, why don't we add some? Pulverizer. And after resupplying me, they're trying to make inserters. Okay. Uh, what about our local construction spiders? Where are they? Up here? Um, I meant to reprogram that remote. There we go. I should also send them back down here to pick up flat solar panels anyway. Since this is where they are being sent to now. And... and what? Don't need the ammo right now. Don't need a umbrella right now, although it is a good idea to add it to this. And what else? Did I really set this to only 50 of each inserter? After it calms down, I'll bump up those numbers a bit. I really want to come up with a, a latch system for each signal, though, somehow. A hey, ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I also want to pick up some, uh, some pulverizers, but it's going to take a little bit of time if I wait for this mole. We've got some here, I think, and we've definitely got some here. But first, very important to turn off... Uh, these incorrect requests. Four fragment crude oil is what we're after. And... Four fragment... Crude oil. Put 
see that over here. Okay. Oh, uh... I think this layout's going to be a bit more significantly different uh, than... It, it's not going to fit all of this. That's fine. Because we need to have the fluid outputs. Let's go get some stuff. Hopefully they have pulverizers over here. I don't think they do. Alright, back to the old oh, main base. And let's get our deconstruction spiders to have another crack at this. I also need to fix those uh, trash pickup stations still. Limit one. Hmm. So do I need to have one that's like always active but inaccessible? I guess I could try putting one down now and seeing how... seeing if that changes their behavior. Of course they started moving again just at that moment. Okay. How's ours? I don't understand how they get this stretched out. All of these spiders are trying to follow the one at the front. That's one of the reasons for doing this little zigzag uh, into the spider nests. That is a thick group. Oh, that's right. We used artillery. Okay. Um, what else should we do? doing right now. Rose is constantly looking ever so slightly less bitery. Um, I think. It's kind of really hard to tell. The, the more often you check on it, the harder it is to tell, but it was really obvious the first time we looked and saw just a big rough circle area with no biters. Okay, I need, uh, probably not 90 pulverizers this time, but I will carry 90 of them, just in case. And once we're resupplied, we'll head out. Use some artillery at the same time. This this chunk is going to be relatively simple to take. Maybe I could then set up an artillery wall and carve out the next bit with relative ease. It's not exactly difficult to keep sending the spiders in. It just takes time. And just got to be a little bit careful to make sure they don't die. Right, looks like we are resupplied. Let's head back down here. Construction spiders has still got a bit of a ways to go. How's our oil doing at this point? You're kidding. <laughs> uh, it would appear... Well, not quite. Not quite. 
But I was going to say it would appear in the time that I spent securing moors to get those oil, uh, crude oil fragments coming in. Uh, it would appear in that time our crude oil system, uh, uh, crude oil situation has stabilized. I wouldn't exactly call it a shame. We did get, uh, even if it's only like a million and a half or something, or less than that, probably like 1.4-ish million... Uh, we did get a bunch of erudite coming our way. Let's just double check this has been... Yep, good. Fantastic. We've also recently increased our throughput of erudite over here as well. Still haven't got more delivery cannons here. I thought I automated it so that... Oh. Well then. Ran out of red circuits. Uh, do we have some lying around? Or can we make them or something? We do have plastic. Uh, let's not get sidetracked. That's a bit of a distraction. More importantly, we needed the big electric motors, I think, for... Yeah, we did get the roboports we wanted. And this was supposed to be... Delivery cannons? We seem to be out of heat shielding as well. Uh, we're missing sulfur? I think we just have to put that in a chest. Of course the belt doesn't quite stay in the robo network as we now have it. Um, why don't we just... Steal it. Is that all going to be... Yeah, that's in range. Okay. Provide a chest. Inserter. Power. If that's all in the robo-network, then... We're going to get our heat shielding. We're going to get our cannons. And we're going to get more throughput of iridite. Which means more girders. Which means faster clearing out of planets with this uh, weapon delivery system. Okay. Uh, I think I need more power here. Now, the recipe that we need to use here, instead of having an output of 5, 1, 10, has an output of 5, 1, and 100 crude oil. All four of these are outputs. We don't have to worry about rotation. We can just put the pipes wherever. But we have to put the pipes somewhere they can fit. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem with this layout. So let's start by getting rid of it. And then, it's probably going to look a lot like this one, actually. No, that does water as well. 
it's not going to need to be as spacious as this one. I don't think we're going to need like 72 of these machines anyway, but let's see. Productivity modules. Um, we'll do a set of we'll do a set of six of these, so we can take advantage of a bacon. Where are the construction spiders? There they are. Right on time. Hopefully they should already be carrying a lot more. They're only carrying two stacks of flat solar panels at a time each. Maybe I'll change that, if not, if only temporarily. We could either do it like this, or... If... I think we'll probably keep the beacon close in. Pipes are going to look like this. Hmm. If I do stretch out the part with the beacon, Okay, it takes 16 in, and it's going to take... Oh, let's get some powder so rate calculator can tell us. Only 1.4 per second in for the core fragment. Oh, that's regular core fragments out. 3.6 uh, crude oil core fragments per second. Total output is like 1.6 seven so maybe a long arm and what what is going on here what what am i watching is this the secret mating dance of the constructortron Amazing. I wonder why they're doing that. Is there just nowhere for them to put their feet? I thought they would just stretch out further. Well, let's just move them on a little bit, shall we? Okay. The bot's only... Oh, I think it had something to do with... I wonder if it had something to do with there being a giant ghost here. And normally they would want to put their feet there. Because I noticed the bot only placed the uh, productivity modules a bit later. Interesting. Okay, so... Where is our output going to be if... If this goes down here... That's almost perfect. Do it like that. That would be nice and consistent. Your outputs could be here, your outputs are here. And substation about here. I think a fast insert is probably enough. 3.6 per second, maybe not. Inserters, fast inserter. 
0 0.8. Yeah, it's not good enough. I think it takes the stack size into account. Like, the lack of upgrades. So this actually needs to be a stack inserter. I think I do like this layout. Yeah, that's actually quite good. Whoops. Okay. So how many of these can we comfortably fit? Let's see. I guess I should blueprint this. Uh, let's use it. Let's use the navsat. Temp blueprint. Snap to grid relative. Width is twenty. Height forty two. That's fine. I should really fill out the belts before I do this part. Uh, so. I think that looks decent. And then... This goes here. That should be fine. Snap to grid relative width is 20. Delete that. See how many of these we can comfortably fit. Um, well, there's no true middle tile here, so let's just do it here. Looks like it's going to be four. I'm quite happy with that. I would rather a neat 4 than an awkward 5. Now then, we can get rid of these. Um, don't need any more splitters or anything. Each belt just goes to... Every time I look at this thing, I, I... Oh, this one's, like, broken. Didn't even know. Um, let's copy this real quick. Except not this or this or this. Or this. It goes there. And this goes here. Wait, was I like in the process of removing an extra station there? Nah, it's probably fine. Oh, we do need splitters for this part. Same thing goes over here. And we just copy, paste, and flip all of this. Yes, almost. Move it all over one tile. Fantastic. Uh, we could definitely... Move the whole thing up a couple of tiles if we want. Uh, 
Alright, let's get some power so we can double check the rate. For all of these. Also, do we have all of the modules and such? Uh, power does not flow all the way down here. I guess I could just add some big poles like this. And same thing way down here. That's not what I wanted to see. Actually, at least it's consistent. Okay. Now then, rate calculator. Uh... 106 core fragments per second, I was not expecting. Plus 21 stone. And there's no, there's only two physical outs. 2.1k crude oil per second. That is more than I would have thought. Um, we can definitely use one of these stops for both crude oil and one of the physical outputs. We don't need a fancy loader this time. In fact, let's just get rid of all of this so we're not getting confused. Okay, so stone is obviously going to be quite slow. We can just have one belt for that. Maybe this way. We're going to do a pickup station right side. Wait, that's... Oh right, because we... because the filter inserters that were there before. Pickup station right side. Um, these are not going to need to be stack inserters. Probably yellow inserters would be good enough. And this will be stone provider. Actually, this will be um, represented by a purple chest because we're trying to empty this as a high priority to get it out of the way of something else. Uh, so, priority. And then this one is just going to be regular core fragments. I guess this is also a high priority pickup because uh, the real product from this block is crude oil. We're not going to need this giant belt set up. We need two belts maximum. Wait, was it slightly more than two belts? 105 core fragments per second. I could throw in some efficiency modules. Also, this one's missing. Yeah, I don't particularly want to uh, bottleneck it on the belts. Especially when we know this thing's going to be idle. Well, I guess it makes perfect sense to bottleneck it on the belt if this is going to be idle some of the time. 95 per second. Um, that actually dropped less quickly than I thought it would. But I'm pretty sure this is going to go below uh, 90 per second.
Okay. Yeah, 83 per second. Let's go for the 90. Save just a little bit of power. Are we running low on speed modules here? Did I just do an incorrect rate calculation because of that? Rate calculator says... 95 per second, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we can definitely do 95 per second if we have blue inserters. Alright. So we're going to do one belt like so. And one like so. That's not quite right. Okay. So we're going to need a filter on the output stack inserter. Four fragments go this way. Fragments go this way. We're going to need to merge from here. That might be a better look, actually. Maybe. Uh, so we need another split turn. What if I do it like this? That's not quite right. So close. And this one like that. Okay. This one matches like so. And then basically the same thing for the other belt. Except I think we'll just move this down a tile. That was as far as that could reach, right? Yeah. Just move this down a tile. Why don't I just move this whole thing down a tile? If 
we want to make this look a bit prettier. Now it's just close enough that um, it looks like it shouldn't use an underground. One day will you you will hit rocket survivability eleven. Oh, um, I was kind of saving up a little bit for that, and kind of blocking some of the uh, resource consumption temporarily. Here we go. I don't think this is going to get us straight to rocket survival. Oh, 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 oh. This might get us to rocket survivability 11. <laughs> yeah. 56%. Well, that belt is moving relatively fast. <laughs> Bonk, fair enough. Okay. Uh, so... It's already at 57%. Nice. Going to need some... Merging of this one. This goes here. And in keeping with the aesthetic, I don't like that it keeps reminding me of life support every time I use the jetpack with the uh, thruster suit, but it's got more inventory space. Uh, okay, so... I guess this would be better, actually. And then... Once more. That goes there, actually. Fantastic. You can turn it off in settings? It's an annoying message. Oh. Uh, mod settings. Jetpack. LTN. Space exploration. Meteor max interval. Coronal mass ejection interval. Plague max runtime. Scan search budget, scan alert, scan chart budget. Did I miss it? Number of chunk requests that can be added to the charting buffer in parallel. Per player, maybe? Print media alerts to console. Satellite discovers. Alert when satellite discovers nothing. Never show life support GUI. How do I bring it up manually if I check this? What message? It's not a message so much as every time I activate the jetpack, it brings this up, even if I'm don't use any life support here. Um, but yeah, I think... I think that just about... does it? These belts? So this is going to... I already fixed that. Turn that on. Turn that on. 
I think apart from some power poles, we're already ready to... Already ready? We are ready for... Wait, why is that connect in such a weird... Oh, I see. Can we make this a bit neater? Uh, let's activate the train stops up here, shall we? They're already... No, no, no. Turn it off, turn it off. So close. Uh, poor fragment crude oil. There we go. And turn this on. I wonder if we've already got 16,000, actually. I think we should have. Uh, here it is. 38,000 uh, crude oil core fragments. Nice. Now then. Substation go here and here. I guess I could use an underground to make that super neat, but I feel like the underground is a little more unsightly than the slight, slight angle on the wire there. Here comes our train. Fantastic. Maybe it's under I? I. Aye, aye. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna do? Settings. Mod settings per player. Priority threshold. There's a lot to browse here. So how do I bring up the life support GUI if... Was that what, what I was about? Life support... Life support is gained, life equipment, canisters, equipment... The spacesuit thruster suit is required... Okay. So that's not bringing up the life support GUI. I don't see any way to bring it up if... Uh... Huh. That's nice. It's not often a game tells you these things without you going out of your way. I don't know how to bring it back if you need it. Okay. I mean, normally I would just check if I have life support canisters anyway. Um, the amount of time that it lasts it, with some life support shoved into this thing is quite long. Alright, so we've got our core fragments. Oh, I forgot the, uh, the entire point of building this thing. We also want some crude oil pickup. So let's do something about that, shall we? And boop, and boop. And I guess if the substations are going to go down here... It should be easy to make them pretty neat up this way. Oh. Wait, no, that's fine. Yeah, that'll do. Or oh, I'll be a little bit more consistent here. And we're going to tell LTN what's in these storage tanks. 
a crude oil is almost already full. Um, luckily, we definitely left ourselves enough room to connect all these pipes. I could connect them all up the top and then connect them down here. That might be better. But more to the point, because this thing will produce more than 1,200 crude oil per second, we definitely need two pipes coming down here. This one is a little bit unfortunate. I guess we will do some undergrounds here. Yeah, that works out. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Nice. Okay. And then... I don't think it has to be from all the way over here, but... Uh, another pipe... To connect these ones. This will have to move a little bit. Like that. And then, why is this part, oh, right, connect all these up the top, like so. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe not. That looks good enough, I think. And then... That should just about do it. Remove all these. Oh, not that one. Remove that. Not that. That. Not that. Oh. And for some reason that just bumped my volume down. There we go. Right then. That does not look like 90 regular core fragments per second, although the crude oil is filling up quite fast. And I think everything was blocked on crude oil for a minute there. Um, why is our output belt stuck? Oh, that would probably help. And this one? A Moz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It also warns you if you're suffocating. Yeah, well, it the screen goes red if you're suffocating, and it does take a while. And you have options like jumping in a Spidertron, or... This belt doesn't go anywhere. Hey, self itself. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Still building giant walls? Uh, so this is supposed to go here. And... There we go. Welcome, Galactic Red Dragoon. Uh, Eonic. Warp Scientist. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so once everything finishes unplugging itself, we should see all of this in motion. Fantastic. Uh, I 
it still hasn't caught up with outputting everything. Great stream, thanks. I finished the main part of the castle. Nice. How did you adjust to UPS starting to drop? Mine's dropping into the 40s and more and more. Yeah, it's, uh, it kind of sucks. Um, we're doing a couple of things to try to do something about it, uh, including removing all the biters from Nalvis, for one thing. Where did I leave my spiders? Oh, left them kind of just hanging out. How many rockets do you have still? Quite a bit. Let's get you to do the zigzag step through all of this. And hit this one as well, please. Can definitely handle this base, I'm pretty sure. And we'll get them to hang out on that island. I'll check how many rockets they've got left after that. This lot are doing fine. Uh, there's a bunch of worms remaining here to clear and not much else. Don't underestimate them though. Keep doing the zigzag dance, make them miss as much as possible. We've also got, um, uh, what are they called? Pile drivers? We've got interplanetary artillery shelling all of the biters off of one of our other planets as well. Come to think of it, I should be applying that to, uh, not Marielle, uh, Lothar as well. I did trim the planet, but we found out that doesn't... Like, all the biters respawn. Uh, the, the original uh, spawners and stuff. Spawners and worms will repopulate if you trim it. What we did was removed them from the entire planet and then trimmed, hoping that would save UPS, but I think it just cuts down on the save file. Who are building great walls and making the biters pay for it? Uh, the biters, they 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 aren't paying for it. They're just kindly getting out of the way. Um, the other thing is, uh, honestly, if I wasn't streaming this, I would probably. I guess it's not too late. I could start using certain mods. Except there's a whole lot of builds that I would have to redo. <laughs> um, but certain things like uh, mods that give you giant containers, uh, loaders, things like that, cut down on the number of inserters and different boxes all over the place. Um, that helps cut down on UPS a little bit as well. Um, but, yeah, there's only so much we can do. Yeah, I have bumped up the average EPS that I've been getting a little bit. I think the biters add up to a lot. I don't think mine's low because of biters, though, unfortunately. I think it's install, install loaders for space, at least, yeah. Install loaders. Is that uh, some modded thing like loaders? I would imagine loaders, like those little box things that do a full belt of throughput into a machine. I would imagine they use less UPS than a inserter. I could be wrong. I'll install a loader mod. Yeah, okay. Loaders are OP. I, I absolutely agree, but, you know, the, uh, that got full very quickly. Okay, so we've got 100, 200k crude oil here. Um, 
yeah, I pretty much got all of that done just in time for our crude oil situation to be completely stabilized anyway. But at least now we know for future reference. Um, when we go overboard spending everything all at once, uh, crude oil isn't going to get as bad. Um, how's our spiders doing? Just fine. Game performance is an issue I feel with many games like Factorio when you get to late game. Yeah, absolutely. And it takes... I, I don't know that much what I'm talking about when it comes to, like, PC building and all that, but uh, it seems it takes an absolute monster of a machine to go to keep up a decent UPS if you're going for like actual mega bases and stuff which uh i mean depending on your standards i guess i may have built a relatively big base and this is just on one planet although it is the main planet but yeah, um, biters, this isn't as severe, well, okay, the planet is quite big, but, um, when I, when I was doing that Death World playthrough with Rampant, um, when I accidentally loaded the save without Rampant and, like, 95% of the biters were just gone, I think UPS jumped up from, like, 20 or 28 to like over 50 so it's not nothing I have 35,000 stack inserters in my main factory I feel I've done my time in inserter prison <laughs> yeah I wouldn't mind um honestly I wouldn't mind something like loaders just being really late game and expensive. Although I can I can understand why they like wouldn't include that in vanilla, for example. Oh, that was a bit too aggressive. Let's back off and do the zigzag. And I should probably just assume that they're kind of low on rockets after that. As for you... I think you can still just roll over such a small number of worms. How many rockets you got left? A decent amount. Alright. You come back after that one. I don't think there's any nests over here, but just make sure. Oh, that's a nest. Okay. Part of the trouble is that you can get 16 core CPUs, but the game can only use 4. Don't know actual numbers, but a lot of games definitely can't use the large amounts of cores available. Yeah. Um, I remember, I think it was around the time of Supreme Commander, uh, that more cores were being used, but it was only by, like, a handful of games. Um, I think we really do need to step up to the next, oh, uh, I'm not excited about artillery shell shooting speed. <laughs> Um, yeah, we need the next tier of science to get anything done now. And that means going to space. Uh, let's see. 
Do I have some space belt here? I don't think so. Yeah, I might still have to use the old base for a little bit. Um, so let's head over there. Summon in my noble steed. Rocket survive 11 done. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go for 12? It's only 4096 Astro 1. What could possibly go wrong? Answer, nothing. Let's get our deconstructors back to the hub. How much of the research tree is left? Uh, all of it, I think. Well, uh, not quite. It's actually, it's actually more green than red now. And more red than yellow, of course. In terms of just numbers of, number of technologies to knock off, it's not looking that bad, but we're only at the first of four tiers of all of the major space sciences. I don't need 90 pulverizers anymore. Uh, probably don't need any for now, actually. And while we're waiting for that, let's check on Rose. Still got biters, they still don't attack us, they are gradually getting chipped away at uh, by our mass drivers. Oh, I still haven't fixed those trains. Not too bad. I really just want to get into orbit doing some science next. Yeah, so these things are... Uh, we're currently consistently bottlenecked on heavy girders, which goes back to iridium, or iridite. Um, but these things are auto-targeting biters, worms, and spawners on that planet. Uh, it's taking an awful lot of material and a lot of power, but it is just automatically raining death on the entire planet and will eventually clear it without me doing anything. Except feeding the machine. Factorio got big? Yeah. Oh, you mean the after the raid? Mana wealth. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so which rocket should we use? This one looks occupied. This one does not. Okay. Um, we've got space rail completely automated. That stuff is being supplied by the rail network downstairs. Uh, space belt. I think we've actually got... Uh, do we have... We've got plenty of space underground belt, plenty of splitters. I don't see any regular. So why don't we take some more? Space belt. Transport belt. Say... How much have we actually got? Let's just set this to like a million. We have 30,000. Wow. Why don't we send up 30,000 this time? We've got 500 inventory slots. Oops. Uh, times 100. We'll fit 50,000. What else should we be taking into space right now? It's about time I fully automated this sort of thing. Um, not really think of anything else. It's not too much trouble to send another rocket. Scaffolding, we've already got a rocket full waiting to be sent. 
Uh, these guys need a little bit of reconfiguring. I'm always amazed at people making big builds and stuff. I tend to be very minimalistic. I mean, if you enjoy playing it, you're doing it right. The locked view is a bit off for me. Or into satisfactory in DSP. Fair enough. Yeah, they're all their own different flavors. Um, yeah, I think apart from the space belt, I mean, we may as well use the other 200 cargo slots for pipes and stuff. Um, everything else, space pipe wise, is just made out of regular space pipe. So why don't we just send a ton of regular space pipe? How much do we have? Thank you for the follow, the Urgust. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So many drones, indeed. Uh, let's see. How many space pipe do I have just lying around? Uh... Only 4,000. Well, I'll take all of it. And then... May as well take whatever we've got of all of the others. Uh, only 200 of these? I should really be... I should really not limit that to such a small number. We can fit 2,400 in one chest. Um, we don't tend to need as many of these, but... Well, no, we just don't. I want to move all of this to a different location, away from the old main bus base. Uh, in the not-too-distant future, anyway. Let's just take one more stack of each of these. And I noticed there was a lot more of these types, which we do use more often. Alright, so that will take a little bit of time to load. Uh, we've actually just got... How much? 14k to go for that one. I guess while that's happening, let's check on our spiders. They're just heading home, no worries. I could maybe grab the construction spiders and start... Start pushing to build another wall somewhere, although I think... For now, I would rather have them... Drop more solar panels. The more power we get from solar, the less uh, nuclear fuel we consume. The more time... Uh, the more often we have the accumulators completely full, and the less bottlenecked on power the giant cannons and the core mining drills are. Let's see, or mining drill has been I'm trying to line it up with the uh the day night cycle, but let's see, nine minutes ago. Ah oh, yep, yeah, there it is. But not right now. Uh, not two minutes ago. That's interesting. So they're turning on and off here. Because I've got them, like, power managed. You get diminishing returns the more core mining drills you have placed. Whether they're working or not. So, 
they use 50 megawatts each, uh, so you're going to be bottlenecked on power with them, no matter how you look at it. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they're running almost 24-7 now with 64 of them. That is a not insignificant throughput. Hey, Jax. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Watched someone else stream SE and WoW. Do you have a ways to go yet? Yeah, I know. Uh, we're heading into space in a minute to continue the uh, space science. We've been kind of... I wouldn't exactly say tying up a bunch of loose ends, but like we've just sort of secured consistent, reliable, decent throughput for like all of these other resources that lead up to what we're going to be doing in space in a moment. We've got infinite resources of all types uh, sorted out, fully automated, but we've also got uh, a whole lot of regular mines just to support higher throughput for a limited time. And we've actually got to the point now where I think literally every one of our basic resources is completely saturated. Those, those blue lights there represent that iron is completely full, glass, copper, uh, stone brick, steel is... I don't have a light display for this, but that's as full as it gets. Uh, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. Still loading this thing. Oh, we're getting close. Okay. Uh, except that's just the end of the belts. Then we need 4,000 pipe and so on. Alright, what should we do for like 5 minutes or something while that finishes loading? We can tell our deconstruct. Oh. Nope, they're actually empty. That's good. Get our deconstruction spiders to finish what they're doing here. Or continue, rather. As long as there's chests with stuff in them, it could still take a while. Good fortune with the space build. Thank you. Um, also, the nice thing about these deconstruction spiders is I went to the trouble and set all except for five of their requests to zero items. So when we find something like these spiders up here, it's a pretty trivial job to... Wait, what? Oh, that's fine. I thought it was like removing their stuff because we didn't have the items. Uh, we can change all of their requests to zero with a couple of clicks, and then we just program in what we want them to be carrying after that. I never really understood the story, and how modded is this actually? Uh, I would say very modded. Most of the mods we're using... Here's a list. Uh, most of the mods we're using are quality of life. LTN, Logistic Train Network, is basically... Uh, allows you to set up things so that trains will automatically be scheduled. Uh, reacting to supply and demand of items as opposed to going around in circles indefinitely and just picking up and dropping off one specific type of item. Um, but the big one there is space exploration, which is a huge, uh, huge extension on the main game. Um, normally when you build, unless you're like, you know, want to build a bigger base and see how high you could get the throughput and everything, like uh, how many, how many signs per minute can you churn out? Uh, normally building something like this is arguably the end point of Factorio, 
or at least the first time you play through it, you're gonna think of that as the end point. Uh, in space exploration, launching one of these is the beginning. It's, uh, yeah. It'll give you some satellite, uh, a navigation satellite view. It'll show you uh, something in orbit you can take advantage of. And you can start getting ready to go into space. But uh, yeah, uh, that's the difference between vanilla and space exploration. That would be like the end of the game, uh, in a, a technically, in vanilla. That would that would give you the U1 screen. How cheaty are stacking belt boxes? Stacking belt boxes. Do you mean like belt weaving? Or something else. Belt boxes. Don't know if I understand. Uh, what are we looking for? Space pipe to ground. I did request a few more than we had here, but I'm surprised it's taking this long to catch up. Uh, it won't be long. It's a mod that condenses items, adding like 50 times iron plates, etc. Uh, I don't really have an issue with that. It's very much one of those things where I would say, you know, if, if you're enjoying it, you're playing it right. 5, 10, 25, 50 in one spot. Then you can have stacked recipes, so a whole box, a whole, oh, okay, yeah, I think I saw some of this somewhere. So it doesn't just give you massive uh, stack sizes, but you actually have to do... Maybe it's a little bit like um, how you can have packed and unpacked recipes for the cargo rocket sections. Where it actually does create some more logistical uh, things to deal with. Yeah, I haven't tried it myself, but that's one way to make things a bit different. What do we got? 24 of these to go. Should I just skip them? The only reason we're not loading everything at once is just so that I can keep the rocket nice and organized. Um, it'll look the same at the other end as well. Come to think of it, where are we aiming this thing? We've still got the old Navis Orbit General we can dump things into. I suppose that'll work. Oh, I never got around to changing the requests for these things. Uh, let's just go with one stack for everything relevant to start with. Um, whoops. And inserters. How does... How did I keep typoing that? 50. There we go. Alright, which spider was I editing there? Not that one. Not that one. This one. Alright. 
We're still waiting on underground pipes. Got just a handful of them. Literally 12. Can I... Why don't we just drop the amount we're asking for here? Wait, that still wasn't enough. Uh, 238. There we go. I would say I'm surprised that it seemed to completely stop there, but I have been somewhat dismantling uh, this base bit by bit. Apparently we don't have proper cable. Um, let's just make sure we all always have some. That's weird, why is it not? I think we do have copper cable. So why... Why is it not getting sent over here? Wait, where was it supposed to be sent to? I'm confused. It's fine. Oh, we're all right. And just like that, we're finished loading. Fantastic. Alright, let's, uh... Let's regret, regret forgetting something and just go. Nervous Orbit General, Launch Trigger Manual. Begin. It's a mother complex. Oh yeah, yeah. Smelting 50 iron ore takes 50 times the time of smelting one ore, so you still need just as many. It's better for UPS though. Yeah, that makes sense. And back to orbit we go. Fantastic. Let me out. I I can see my flashlight moving around <laughs> and and hear footsteps as I'm trying to walk while I'm in the capsule. Okay. Um you guys definitely should be carrying some space rail. Uh some signals. And Let's just leave it at that for the moment, until I think of something else. That'll do. Uh, I don't seem to have a remote for you guys. That's right. I never actually set one. Let me just hitch a ride. Okay, down we go to pick up some more rail. And as expected, oh, I thought rocket survivability had stopped at like 27%, but it's just really slow because it's a very big research. We are running out of um, uh, Astro on the belt though. This is not gonna last too much longer. One thing that I did not uh, notice when I tested this whole build um, is just how much trouble the uh, whole demo fluid had getting everywhere. Although that doesn't seem to be the problem right now. Visible observation data. Uh, blank observation frames. There's no light oil. Why don't we have light oil?
We've got coal. We you're kidding. We somehow ended up with full petroleum. Hmm. Uh light oil has to be greater than petroleum for us to pump this through here and therefore to do the cracking. Why are we... Oh, and heavy oil has to be greater than light oil to crack heavy to light. Okay. Um... Somehow or other... Well, no, I think I completely understand. What normally happens in Factorio is you consume... Petroleum by far the most, light oil in the middle, and heavy oil usually the least. There's a, lot, a big burst of it sometimes when you're making a bunch of belts after you've picked some up, but uh, you have cracking, which converts heavy oil to light, light to petroleum, and... Normally, a pretty good way to manage it is just to put some kind of limiter so that you won't crack heavy to light unless there's more heavy than light. You won't crack light to petroleum unless there's more light than petroleum. But apparently, consumption of petroleum in this particular base is slow enough that... Where do we even consume petroleum here? It is slow enough that that doesn't just sort itself out. So we consume petroleum when we're making chemical gel. Which I think gets used quite a bit. It's heavy oil to make cosmic water and lubricant. Um... Just how many things consume chemical gel? This uses heavy, and sulfur is made out. Sulfur is made out of uh, petroleum. Where are we making sulfur? I can't actually see it anywhere. I'm a little bit surprised. We're not bringing up sulfur by cargo rocket. I'm actually going to have to trace it backward. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay. So this consumes sulfur, which consumes petroleum, but we hardly ever actually produce this stuff. Where It's all getting recycled all the time. The fact that this is empty looking is actually a really good thing. We're finally managing to keep that from getting overfilled and... Um, blocking the whole system. I suspect, because we've been making nothing but astroscience, which doesn't actually consume uh, chemical gel, that we've just been accumulating too much petroleum. Hmm... You get a little bit of each type of oil, right? Even with coal liquefaction. You get considerably more heavy than light than petroleum, but still, you get a little bit of petroleum. If we were actually consuming no petroleum for all of the research we were doing just now, this consumes light. This just uses fluid, which ultimately consumes a minuscule amount of petroleum. Um, and that's it. Hmm. This is another situation where doing a main bus base um, has its problems where a rail system would be better. But it could still ultimately have the same problem. 
We need to research... <laughs> this sounds weird, but we need to be researching something that uses up. I could actually demonstrate right now, if I'm correct, we'll, we'll research some artillery shell shooting speed. And I'm expecting... I haven't looked at material science lately, but... Uh, let's see. It does indeed consume chemical gel, which I think consumes a decent amount of petroleum. 100 petroleum makes 20 chemical gel. Okay. So... We've started consuming material science. Chemical gel is getting consumed. That's going to make room in the petroleum storage. Which is going to allow uh, coal liquefaction to go ahead again. Which is going to produce heavy and light oil. Which is going to get everything flowing again. Check your polished data card facility. What's that? Oh, it sometimes outputs scrap, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, looks okay to me. We're not making blank data cards because everything's kind of stopped right now. Oh, there's our 1% on artillery shell shooting speed. Oh, this doesn't have power. That would have helped. We had a little rocket crash here a while ago. The roboports were there to pick up the debris, but apparently I never powered them properly. Okay. It's bioscience that will pull the petroleum consumption. Um, that may be the case, but I don't have anything left to consume bioscience 1 without requiring, like, bioscience 2, which I haven't done yet. This is actually the last thing I have to research uh, without just repeating... Things like rocket survivability, which is astronomical only, and uh, logistic and utility science. So that's why I picked um, artillery shooting speed. Oh, I think I just messed up the um, orders for that spider. You should probably follow that one. And you guys... Are all in a group. Fantastic. I use chemical gel rough data card to consume petroleum. Ah, I see. Which one am I using? Or how many recipes are there? Rough data. Let's see. Polished data storage substrate. Chemical gel. And it's one to one to one. This one uses cosmic water, sometimes spits out scrap, and also contaminated cosmic water. So it basically just re it sort of recycles the cosmic water. Okay, so yeah, it might be... Uh, it looks like the contaminated cosmic water pipe is basically empty, so we wouldn't be losing anything by swapping that recipe out. I would have to get the cosmic water here to be... Uh, chemical gel instead. But that would mean that something that's fundamental to all of the sciences uh, would consume 
petroleum as opposed to ultimately just heavy oil. So yeah, you're right, that would probably uh, fix that problem. New prod modules need those bio catalogs. Sounds good. Alright, but uh, the thing I want to be doing at the moment though... Oh, I mean, I keep meaning to change the color of the leader here. So we can tell them apart. There we go. Double check that is the leader. Fantastic. Are you carrying rail? Sort of. Uh, why don't you all pick some of this up, please? Little trick to bypass the slow logistic bots. That'll do for now, I think. Yeah, you're actually overburned and <laughs> overburdened with rail now. Alright. Let's bring them down to the rail network we were working on. And... Uh, this is like our hub area that I want to have on this... Uh, this new, better organized hub area, kind of like what I did down here on Nalvis. We're going to have some auto crafters, a few dedicated crafting machines. Um, I don't know that we'll set up a cargo rocket system here, but we certainly have a cargo landing pad to receive the scaffolding. It might have been better. I said this before, it might have been better if I'd set up rail construction down there, but I need the energy catalogs, which are right here, so I wanted to just take advantage of that. Uh, let's get... Oops. While I'm here, I should rebind this to be the spider. I hadn't finished figuring out this bit of belt, uh, track, obviously. So these are all pickup stations um, that are using the items that I already put in the main bus for the tier 1 science. Uh, quite an obscene amount of throughput and uh, capacity for some of these resources, maybe not all of them. But it's a, it's a nice easy way to get started. Let's get you to finish placing some of this rail, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll have some room in your inventory again in a minute. I think I forgot to get them to carry inserters already. No, I did not. Are they actually carrying inserters already? Yeah, but they ran out of space. Okay, just make sure all of these things get placed. Could have turned on my RoboPort. There we go. Um, come back, please. Finish what you started. Don't know why my bots are being so slow about this. But it's done now. Artillery shell speed is up to 77%. And... Sure enough, uh, we've got at least some light oil making its way down here now. Although it is excruciatingly slow for the moment. Surprisingly slow, actually. It's probably still... The problem is still that petroleum is full. So I th think you're really right about that, that I should change change this to the other 
uh, polished data storage substrate recipe. The cheapest one is not always the best, even if the quality output is the same. Interesting. Let's get our spiders to continue building this rail. Uh, I would also like them to add some scaffolding here just so that they're able to walk across it. And I think the very first thing I'll be doing next stream is throwing out some uh, space rail block designs. But for now, uh, I think it is about time to finish up for today. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Uh, so tentatively, this is my new finishing time for uh, streaming. I'm going to be streaming one day less per week, but for a bit longer. Uh, so this will probably be the norm for now. Uh, by default, I was going to raid Nyron Wolf. Yeah, why not? I think I did a random small streamer just quite recently. Let's drop in on Nyron Wolf today. He's also doing uh, space exploration, but I think it's with uh, K2 as well. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, for now, see you next time. Take care, guys. If the other day was any indication, I probably gave them intel again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>